Ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to this, you're dead somewhere. Hopefully you're high enough. So glad to be speaking to you from downtown Burbank. I'm so excited to be standing in for Jeff Davis. Such big shoes and an even bigger jock strap. I'm Brandon Johnson. I'll be comp trolling tonight. But first, let's get into it. Your man, the craziest, the king of all time. Steve Harvey called him one of his favorite comedians, Spencer Crittenden. Spencer Crittenden, ladies and gentlemen. Big fan. Now, if I'm the disgraced alderman, this man is definitely the mayor. You've seen him on black hair care boxes all over the city of Los Angeles. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, your mayor, Dan Harmon. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Rap it to the beat. Rap, rap master Dan. Harmon is rapping now. It's He's time to rap. Rapping is the way to do the way you do your life. Eat your peas with lots of geese, liver smeared on a butter knife. Drummer, wicked, I'm a rapper. Rapping my heart out. Dancing a little bit too, but not so much that I hurt myself. I'm a little hungover from New York, and I'm in a bad mood. I find most people stupid. Don't even like my own friends. Or my family, most of whom don't like to speak to me. I have a niece I never met. I'm a rapper, <laughs> rapping to the beat tonight, moving my feet in a way that's right. Blue apron, have the braised nuts with a spaghetti reduction sauce. Blue apron, square space Airbnb, Southwest Airlines, quip, quip. Quip, a quip toothbrush. Suck the brush to your mirror. Hold your brush much nearer. Clean it up, make it wiggle round. We're gonna brush your teeth with the gums when you found a treasure or a treasure map. That's the name of this rap. Treasure map. Leisure crap. I'm a quip toothbrusher. I couldn't have cleaner teeth if my name was Usher. I like to brush. Ho, 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 thrush. Quail. Thrush out the quail from the bush. Well, you brush your teeth and your tush. Get that brush up your butt. Ho. Put the quip in your butt. Rub it around till you nut. Mustache your prostate. Make the semen come out. It vibrates every 45 seconds to cue you. To put it in a different part of your butt hole, I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper. How you may I'm a rapper. Oh, I think I'm, I think I almost I'm about to faint. All right, thank you. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, hardest line in hip hop ever. I have a niece I haven't met. <laughs> Such tragedy. <laughs> the pain in that line. We all felt it. <laughs> that was uh, that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty hard. Ooh, yeah. That was sad as fuck. <laughs> I have a niece I haven't met. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, uh, we've got a horrible, horrible show for you tonight. Uh, not in the mood. Um, I brought, I brought, I brought, I, I, I had a great time in New York, but I, a, a self-destructive one. I mean, I really alarmed myself and Cody. What uh, were you doing in New York? It was just, I was just drinking. And, just I, 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 no, I was also, I was premiering, I was uh, attending the premiere of, of, uh, of, of, uh, of a movie I was in, okay. the title of which is very long and starts with the word Seven Stages. Okay. Uh, I think if you Google Seven Stages 
Harmon or Holy Storch, which is play, who is played by Taika Waititi. Kate Micucci's in it. Excellent. Uh, Sam Huntington. They're amazing. I mean, Micucci. I don't want to. I don't want to play favorites, or whatever. But it's like she. She executive produced the movie, and she's. She's just. She's so fantastic in it. Very genius. Yeah. Very genius. There's a lot of. There's a lot of really uh, cool uh, alternative. Uh, I don't know what you. I don't. I, there, 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 there's. There's very hip, funny people in it that have much smaller roles than me, and I'm incredibly fat in it, and make me feel great because I could. I felt like I lost weight when I watched it. I was like, wow, look how fat you are on the screen. It, yeah. The camera adds a, uh, a lot of self hate. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I so, so, I, was, so I, was, I, was, I was at the, I was in the bathroom in my New York hotel room, and uh, I, I was, I was, it was a night of drinking, and I had a good time, and, uh, and then I'm like, is brushing my teeth, and I, I think, I think, I believe that this is what I did. I, I, got, I, I had to tell the staff, I was sorry, I broke a light bulb, like a, like the glass ball that covers yeah. the bulb, uh, and I, but I didn't tell them. I did it on purpose because that would be insane. But I think that's what I did. I was like, I was like looking at it, and then I just reached out and pulled it off. Whoa! And dropped it. Okay. On the floor of the bathroom. Okay. That's fucking badass, man. <laughs> that's metal as fuck. I mean, that's how you know your life is going pretty well. Where you're just like making up disasters. Like, like, Did it, it satisfy you? No, I, I well, I just I just kind of looked at it and was like, huh, what was that? What was that behavior? It was weird. I told the lady at the front desk, I'm really sorry. I, you, you know, of course, obviously, I'm going to pay for it, but I don't want the, the staff to get hurt. There, there's broken glass on the floor, and she's like, yeah, you seem like you're in pretty high spirits. Uh, okay. and, and I was like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm quite drunk. So she deserved it. She did well. I, I don't know. She was nice. She was very nice. I like that you knew that these people were going to be jerks at this hotel if something should go wrong. You, <laughs> I just outed. Yeah, yeah. I'm like I'm going to prove it's like when an adopted kid like sets fire right. to their foster parents' uh, living room, and then they're like, "You piece of shit." He's like, "See." <laughs> were you in high spirits? I was drunk. Right. Yeah, I had a great time. You know who's a great guy that I would really love to hang out with here in LA, and I'm sure I'll come on the show and. Uh, Mark McKinney. I'd never. I think that was the last the kid in the hall that I that I've met. Yeah, Canadians are good people. They're nice. There's no. Uh, there's no bra bravada. Yeah, he's a very. I was. I I, I. 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 risk insulting him by sounding shocked by this, but he's just a very funny guy. He's very witty, uh, uh, charming, and friendly. And uh, he likes to. He likes to drink. He's. 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 He's, he's Canadian. They like to drink. They're like. They're basically like Milwaukeeans in Canada. Oh. You know, <laughs> um, uh, does he live in L.A.? Is there a chance that you guys could have a play date? Yeah, I think he, I think he's he's in Toronto a lot, but he is also living here. And I think that yeah, I, I can't remember what his exact schedule is, but we did exchange digits, and uh, I think he'd be a great guest on the show. It'd be fun. Awesome. Uh, what else? Also, and then I want to know about the garage fixed. Uh, it's fixed at this point. It's, 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 it just has to be painted. Doesn't have an address on it yet. Uh, that's not a big deal. I'm not going to let that get to me. Okay. I don't really. I didn't really need a garage. I don't have a car. Right. But uh, it's good that it's fixed. I guess. Okay. A little, a little less urban blight on my block. <laughs> uh, what's with the what's with the what's with the grit in Bloody Marys? What is that? Why 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 is there why is part of a Bloody Mary just gross little chunky balls of black like fucking shit? It's peppercorns. <laughs> Motherfucker, you ordered it. <laughs> oh, you know, I was a bartender, so yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you're the one that ordered the, the shit with the shit in it. I, yeah, well, I just can't. Is it, so, so I, can I say when I order a Bloody Mary, can I say, can you not with yes. the peppercorn? Yes. Okay. I'm going to try that sometime. <laughs> Because I kind of like, every once in a while, I'll be in the mood for a Bloody Mary, but then I remember, I just, like, come shoots up through the straw, this fucking, like, shitty little BB of yeah. charcoal. And, uh, <laughs> God. It's, 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 it, and then, you, then you take out the straw, you try to drink around it, you get fucking balls of pepper on your mustache, and fucking, it's just gross. What a gross drink. What a t terrible, terrible thing to do to somebody. Hotel, Mark? Was it hotel, or was it out? 
Were you out? We were. I had a blo- I had a Bloody Mary at the Standard with. Okay. Uh, I wasn't staying at the Standard, but I went there to drink and wait for our car to come. Okay. Not, uh, bad. Not a bad choice. Baby boomers are bad people. I wrote that down. I don't know. They're almost dead, but the ones that are left, you know, kind of destroying. Why do you feel like they're bad people? Is it because of the events of of late, or do you feel like they blew it through the sixties and seventies? Oh, I think I guess the former. I guess you know they're just they're just not aging very well at all. They're becoming villains, and uh, I mean maybe the good ones died at like sixty five. A lot of there's also a lot of assassination. <laughs> And uh, now we now we are left with the mummies and assassins right. that that uh, yeah right. so so it's just yeah don't take it personal if you have a baby boomer in your life um, maybe they're a ghost or an angel uh, but if they're alive they're probably a piece of shit pretty much or they invented streetlights they invented streetlights that's maybe true they were the dude that was like we should use glue for concrete <laughs> you know so we have whenever I see an old person I'm like this motherfucker might be the person who invented uh those bags that hang over you in surgery with the saline in them uh-huh right so i'm like be nice you know <laughs> be nice because they because if they invented it they might be able to recall them right uh then you'll be standing at an operating table like with a with a with a with a with a, with a, with a, with a, with a, a brick hanging over you with a hose coming down in your arm how great would it be if old people could recall technology? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't invent street lights so that all these immigrants could come come to my country. I'm turning them off. I said the music's too loud. Now give us back the subwoofer. <laughs> Nobody gets the subwoofer. <laughs> you, you all to have play? to use tw- tweeters. <laughs> too much rap. It's too much rap. I want to hear the Beatles's. Uh... Well, it's kind of interesting, Brandon. You, uh, you, in in singing the praises of 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 our previous generation, you really uh, went to some less likely places than the people usually go. I usually go to the Ed Sullivan Beatles Moon thing, and you, you're talking glue and concrete. That's interesting. Uh, didn't didn't know, Spencer. How are you? I won't look. I'm at him. good. I won't look at him. What yeah. Why would on? you? fighting him but we're fighting what are you guys fighting about <sighs> we, oh, got, we man. got blue apron the other day and spencer wouldn't let me make glazed nut sauce with a oh. reduction bully base <laughs> always apron get it it's a blow job joke i bet blue apron's gonna love that yeah i mean thanks oh, thanks yeah they they hate being talked about uh Nuts, just nuts, nuts. What kind of sauce is what you should be asking? It's a nut sauce. A bully base reduction. <laughs> if you're just joining us, I, I'm in a bad mood. I'm hungover. Uh, <laughs> I went through the TSA checkpoint, as we all do. When we travel, of course, yes, you have to. Even I didn't even have a bad time personally. I'm not. I, I, I just get here. I just like I don't understand why they are upset. Why are they upset? What in the fuck did they think was going to happen? They don't make a lot of money. I but... don't fucking care. I'm sorry. I'm yelling at you. I'm asking you to defend them. Damn. But I, I, I just like everybody makes not a lot of money except me. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, it's great. I love, I love it. It's great. You get big piles of money, and you can roll around in it, and you, you get, you can, you, you can buy food. Yes. But I, I, I don't. I was poor once. I was a dishwasher. I didn't make enough money. There were too many dirty dishes. I wish, I wished that there were less. I wish that they were cleaner when they came to me. That's, but I was a dishwasher. That's how they feel about you all. I, exactly. But I wish you were cleaner. There's too many of you. You're all in a bad mood. You're all running late. And, and, gotta, we, and we don't understand. And they're trying to save your life, and you give them shit. They're trying to save our life. It's true. That's, that's how the TSA feels. They're like, we're the janitors. Then they should smile. <laughs> if they think they're saving people's lives, they should, they should like Superman's what if they very, wore very capes? happy. What's that? They could wear capes. Yeah, well, we should make them. We should let them wear capes. No, we should make them wear capes. <laughs> we should make them, and then make them feel good about. That. Yeah, or maybe they should, like, I just, I, I, maybe what happened yesterday is probably going to happen today. I.e., a bunch of people who are not 
always in an airport are going to come to an airport for the first time in a while. Some of them from foreign countries, all all of them at non-ideal times in their lives. None of them having gotten up that morning uh, eager to pull their shoes off and put their belts in a liquid bag. I, I, mm. No one. But 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 they 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 get they they get to be there. And uh, be used to it. They, they they get to be native to the to the place that we hate to be. But but I just I don't what I don't understand is why are they so cranky? I just wish they would be mad at the right people because there are people that don't get their laptops out, and then there are people who don't take their jackets off, and then those people aren't the ones they get mad at. Yeah, I they're guess... always just so like, oh, you have a phone. It's like, yeah, everybody has a fucking phone, but it's like, shut up. But it's like, they're always mad about stupid shit, or they're like mad about like, I don't know, someone's not hearing them, and it's like, yeah, I mean, everyone's yeah, yelling. Yeah, no one can hear. So here's, a, here's a thought. Okay, if where you work, well, this goes beyond the TSA, but this is a, a, like, if where you work, there is a sign that says what everyone's supposed to do, and... You find yourself repeatedly and exasperatingly uh, pointing at the sign and saying, it's on the sign. What, the, what we call that in the sign business is a non-working sign. That's called a bad sign. It's not working correctly. So it's not really 40,000 strangers' fault that they're not seeing the sign or taking it into their hearts. See, it really can't be 40,000 people's fault. 40,000 people can't really do anything wrong on purpose. They're, Whoa, uh, hold on. Uh, let's hold on. Yeah, let's back up for just well, a second. Well, 40,000 40, 40, strangers. Let's, let's emphasize again, that they're strangers I mean, to again, each other. Are they strangers in Germany? <laughs> Also, Trump that, supporters. That's, that's people showing up for. They're not strangers. They're like in a moose lodge kind of organization, and they're like, "Let's set fire to this church or something." Uh, they, but let's say, let's they say, hated that church. Well, but but wait a minute. No, no, don't. Worry. I, I want to go back. Like, like, you know, that's not. There is no exception to what I'm saying because we're saying wrong. I'm saying the sign is wrong because it's not working. If you're at a Nazi rally. And with 40,000 Nazis, and there's a sign that says no cell phones, and all the other Nazis are on their cell phone. Before you go like, guys, you're being bad Nazis, and point at the sign. Move the sign! Make it the text bigger! I make the Change the color stop scheme! Being Nazis. Say what? Stop being Nazis. Don't worry about your cell phones. Just go home. Yeah, but you're, I mean, that's not, I, yeah, but the, the, sure, that too, that would be great, but. Yeah. We're, actually, we're talking about signs, right? Yeah, we're now. talking about trying to improve signs, right? Don't, Spencer, don't be a fucking Nazi about, uh, my Nazi metaphors. Signs. I think you said a lot of people couldn't be wrong, and I was like, I feel like a lot of people are often wrong. That's, but I take your point about bad semantics, design. Semantics. Oh, yeah. every, everyone is all all wrong about everything. We're bo we're born monsters. We're terrible monkey people that fucking suck and eat dicks. But what about the you know? Isn't there a tendency of people to ignore signs anyway? That like like I mean I I agree, like. I agree that a bad sign is like can be marked by the fact that people don't read it. But at the same time, there's like doors that say push and pull, and then people just don't look and stuff like that. Bad sign. Well, I not, mean, not working, not working. The whole experience is not working. Yeah, yeah. And the, the sign's part of the whole experience. Yeah, sure. I think I think whoever put up the sign had a noble effort. But I don't, however long the sign's been up there, and however mad you are that people aren't pushing and pulling, I'd say you gotta. It, 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 it's not. It's really not logical. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work. It's like the people are a force of nature. There when they're moving through a door. I, I, they, but people don't have incentive to read every written information around. You know, we kind of like who yeah, cares? Yeah, they don't. They don't. Right. So dumb sign. It's not working. It's well, not going to work. People don't work like that. There's no sign that people are going to read. Right. It, particularly if the experience is the same experience. Got, or if it's telling them to do something. You've right. got to figure out a new way to make people do stuff you don't want them doing. What if we get someone to yell the same thing sure. over and over until they want to kill everybody? Sure. Or, just, or or add a class to their grade schools and wait 20 years for, for everyone to become uh, better better pushers and pullers of doors. I don't we should know. Get, we should start that right now, I think. Well, we ought to if, we, if, we, if we're going to be mad 20 years from now about people <laughs> not staying off the grass. <laughs>
We should oh. we should we should give them grass feet. These we pants, should give them I'm... special vitamins that make their feet grass. These uh, pants brought the grump out in you. I'm a very angry <laughs> man in his pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, I just, I just. Why is everyone so dumb? Like, why, why is everyone so stupid and mean and ugly? It's a, it's a rhetorical question. I thought you said you had fun in New York. I did. I did have fun. I tell, did. tell me, what else did you do? I. It was mostly. It was a lot of. Who'd you go with? Uh, Dino. Oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you got to have some stories. I do. I, I mean that you you know. Yeah, I I have to think. Let's bring Rob Schraub up. Well, yeah. well, I well I, I can think about that. Rob Schraub. Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Schraub, back from his tour yeah. in forty eight continental states on the Schraub Hour, the Schraub Tour. Schraub Tour merchandise will be available after the show. Rob Schraub coming to the stage. Saw his mama's pussy on the page. What? Fade in on Mama Shrub's vagina. Got robbed. I'm a stick up artist robbing your pussy. Put your hands in the air. <laughs> Give me your tushy. I'm just trying to feed my family. Rob your pussy. Dramamine. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Dan. How was your trip to New York? It was good. I broke a light bulb. In you a hotel broke room. a light bulb. Like, 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 I'm like, uh, like I was a rapper. Like you were like a, just like a rap an idea. Uh, Apocalypse Now, where he smashes the mirror. Yeah. But I think, honestly, wasn't that uh, man uh, 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 scavenging? A, a rapper, I think, loots a hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it took so long to land that. Hi Spencer. That's something. That's something. Yeah. I was. I well. I the, 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 that guy that is, is not. It's not. A, it's not a joking matter. But it's a happy. It's a, it's a happier ending to the story. That guy that saved everybody at the Waffle House. Not everybody. Bad motherfucker. Um, yeah. But somebody, that's always cool, right? Somebody Heroes. tweeted something funny, like the guy because it's just like he. He 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 looted the the, the mass Hello. shooting, or he like uh, he, he he like like the headline was good. Fox News was going to say that he stole he stole a gun, and that is, that is the thing. It is kind of funny that yes, he got the gun from the dude, and then immediately the cops showed up and shot him. Wait, shut up! The cops <laughs> shot the fucking hero guy. They shot the hero guy because they were like because he was holding a you gun. Got a gun! Oh and my they were god! Like, they didn't know who was who. They'd heard shots were fired. I had no idea that happened. That I'm is lying. a fucking bummer. I'm lying, but this is where we are, America. That's straight this up. This uh, is where we are. That, that's Night of the Living Dead. Yeah. There aren't. There aren't any. I mean, I don't. I don't. So the police aren't supposed to necessarily know this. The, the guy's holding a gun. But but, but just, to, so just to make to the observation, people, this is right? usually a. It's usually a white right? guy, right? Like, right. Like, what? What? I, well, I said, I mean, you, you, did, did you just start a, right? a a different podcast at the same time as I? Was... No, no. I was, <laughs> well, I was the... joining the conversation at the same time. The but problem, you, I mean, it illustrates the problem with a gun incident, which is that it's a highly chaotic information or situation in which a lot of information changes at a very fast pace, and even having a gun in a shooting situation can be a liability that gets you killed instead of protected. Right. So, like, that's just inherent to the beast, and, like, this is exactly why. I mean, say that guy had a gun. Say that guy shot the shooter. Say he did it before he got any casualties. That guy still might have ended up dead because, you know, he was the guy who had a gun when the cops showed up. The and bullet, that's just the what happened. might go through the, the, the potential murderer. The hero's bullet could go through his entire body and hit a baby, especially for, in a, from an right. assault rifle. I, or they could just shoot a baby instead of hitting the perpetrator, and then the perpetrator pops like six shots off and then runs off. Or, you know, who knows? I mean, you're, yeah. Also, well, who, also yeah, right. here's the thing about this everybody needs to have a gun uh, co concept, which is uh, uh, that's not freedom. I don't, I don't want to have a gun in public. I don't, I, I, I bear, I, I, I immediately, as soon as I could, got rid of my wallet and, and put all my credit cards in my phone. Case, do you think I want to? I want to stop at the counter before I go out the door and load a, a forty-five or it's a, heavier. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't even like uh, carrying a laptop. I don't think you want to do that. I don't want to have a gun. I don't think you want to have a gun outside. You, you know who might or might not? Our classic character, MC Gun Control. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yo, it's me, MC Gun Control, the character where the joke is that you can't tell if he's for or against guns. MC Gun Awareness. Bang, bang, shoot, shoot, bang. A lot of 
guns out there in a gang or not in a shooter's hands. It's a crazy second amendment land. Got the guns. They're dangerous. Powerful weapons for all of us. MC gun control. You can't tell what side I'm on. So now MC gun control. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. In the past, you have at least said the words gun control a fair amount, which yes. has led there to be, like, the perception of some amount of balance where you're talking about gun control. Yo, my job is to spread awareness, make people aware of gun, gun control. control. But at this point, you were just, like, talking about a landscape of guns and things people could do with guns. And this is the most guns... lethal nation in the United States of the world. But you weren't even mentioning gun control at all. You were just kind of like... You're almost just promoting guns and the things you it's could do. It's almost it. impossible to control guns. They're out of control. That's the awareness. Guns are incredible killing machines. Right. You keep saying that. <laughs> yeah. It's and you sort of keep saying. Well, then I've done. Uh, are you, I'm glad you're aware. You keep saying anyone who wants to kill should get a gun. No, I did not. I, I don't. That would be a. That would probably be a <clears throat> an accidental uh, breaching of the comedic formula. Because I would, that would be like, it's Pat saying and, that uh, she's a woman. woman. Well, I mean, that's implying that people who want to kill people are good. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. But it's Anyways, you bring I, that up. the joke is you can't tell. <laughs> I mean, you did say incredible killing machine. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I, it, 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 the word incredible means hard to believe. <laughs> and you did say the wounds that guns create were like... Amazing. <laughs> they're, they're remarkable. Right, remarkable. That's okay. what you said. I'm they're sorry. They're noteworthy. That's, no, that's more neutral. That's yeah. true. Uh, okay. okay, funny stuff. Uh, All right, moving on. <laughs> what t shirt are you wearing, Spencer? Oh, just this Chinese murder van t shirt. Whoa. You guys hear about these Chinese murder vans? Why don't you stand up and parade it around, you fine ass? I mean, look at you. Damn, oh. dude. Oh, man. Holy Fucking shit. Man. Why don't you move that bush out of the way so oh I can look at your tits? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was just really... <laughs> I, said you I guess that's the story. We got our I'm title. I'm really sorry. That was awful. Why don't you move that bush out <laughs> no, of the way so Jesus. we can look at your tits? I'm just trying to... I'm just spitballing t-shirt <laughs> ideas at this point. <laughs> I'm, I'm really you're, sorry. You're just a walking T-shirt idea yeah. factory. What? Uh, what Didn't is that, that T-shirt? One? That's I wish a, someone could explain it. Spencer, you, you guys hear about these Chinese murder vans? Speaking of shirts, no. I'm going to take mine. Well, one. now you don't have to. It's not that because hot. you can own the Chinese murder van T-shirt. I'm fat. No, it's kind of hot up here. It's hot when you're How fat. How do we get one of these Chinese murder van T-shirts? Oh, yeah. that's simple. I, and I want it to be organic. Yes. Do you want to be it, it to be made by um, T Public? I meant more the segue, but sure, the material should be organic as well. Yes. What were you segueing oh. to? An ad. Meundies. For Chinese mur oh. murder van T-shirts. <laughs> what, what if the what if Blue Apron made it, Blue Aprons out of Micromodal, uh, three times softer than cotton? Now that oh. could be big. What if the what if the aprons vibrated every forty seconds? What if it? Airbnb offered free meundies for guests? Did Ooh. Apron come with you to New York? Apron, oh, no. promotion. Is that, geniuses. Did, didn't didn't it, Dino bring Apron along? Apron seems like somebody that would hang out with Dino. <laughs> Who is with you and Dino when you guys are traipsing around New York? Apron, right? There are people that we run into. Okay. Uh, but there's no... Remember Peter Blood? Oh, Peter Blood. He showed up for a little God cameo. Bless. Okay, excellent. Dino's friend Tom met us out. I bought okay. Dino a tiny cactus at a, oh. at a ca tiny cactus store. Come on. Uh, we, he, he talked to an old fella on the sidewalk uh, about something. I don't know what they were yeah, talking about. I think they were a crazy conversation. It sounds like a fucked up Jim Croce song. They were ta they were talking about God or something. Or maybe I'm projecting that because the guy had a yarmulke on and he was like very... He seemed like kind of... Uh, uh, philosophical. Okay. Uh, but they might have been talking about fucking Blue Apron. I don't know. I'm sure they were. Were they like, hey, <laughs> give me the Blue Apron comedy. What? Give you Blue Hand Apron comedy? Thanks. Sorry, sorry, everybody. Give you Blue Apron? Sorry, the show. My favorite thing is in the uh, about Blue Blue Apron ads in particular in podcasting is because like, when you listen to uh 
true crime podcasts a lot. There's there's very often a very like like it's it's as if they're doing a bit like it's like 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 t- talking about a horrible murder uh, with, with something that happens and then there's like no seam going into like. <laughs> Having this food delivered to your house, it's kind of funny. That's the best. Uh, I love yeah. that. It's like when they're like, we're going to be here all night solving this case, so we should probably get some Blue Apron. Uh, well, or worse. No, it's no, it's more like her mangled body had been eaten by her own cats before officers got the, to the scene, and the, the odor was attracting the police. Uh, I love acorn squash, yeah. uh, and I cook with my kids all the time. And when I do... Uh, <laughs> That's so. I mean, it definitely it, it, with shows like that. It seems like you really could sell products because, like, you're instilling just utter fear. Oh yeah, like, 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 it's the kind of thing that makes you not want to leave your yeah, house. Yeah, I mean, and when you're not leaving your house, you know, you got to have groceries. You know, that's what television is. Television is telling you do not stop watching this television. Like, like you know, like you, you know, go go get a car, but but drive it back here and keep watching TV. Right. Um. What do you think, Rob? I think I find it. Uh, I was thinking about this. I find it strange that the theme to Fall Guy <laughs> was more concerned with letting me know that Lee Majors was heterosexual <laughs> than focused on the stunt work. What, what's the? I just remember he's like, well, I'm, I'm not nuts. the kind of kiss and tell, but I've taught ladies plenty. What? <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, and then you jumped over fire, right? <laughs> no, Sally Fields, you've been with a, a girl named Bo, and you okay, but well, I've leapt six feet over a simmering pussy. And... Yeah, yeah. I'm not the kind of kiss and tell, but I'm. Listen, I'm heterosexual. <laughs> Straight as an arrow. I don't hug my male friends at all. It's just, I'm really into pussy. Why does everybody keep asking me Worse. if I like it? I mean, like, I mean, like, really? I mean, like, they lead with that. I'm not the kind of kiss and tell, but uh, and then he goes into how many women he's. I find D- Dino told a story. It was really funny. Uh... Uh, about his dad, who is no longer with us, so majors. this will be fine. We're, we're just defiling his memory, but but uh, they they were Gino was watching a Woody Allen movie, and uh, and his dad was in the room, and then <laughs> Woody Allen had a line about the Greeks inventing homosexuality, and Gino's dad got up, t- paused the tape, and lectured Dino about how that's not true. The ro- the reason that rumor got started is because the Romans made made everyone suck their dicks, and then t- kept the the repl- played the movie and let his let his son just absorb. <laughs> Wait, is thanks, that true? Thanks, is that t- how we got it? Yeah, I, 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 it, it really it really cleans up Greek history, doesn't it? Like it's a, a, you, you really co- you, any shame you went into uh, as a Greek, you're, you're definitely coming out the other side of that one uh, re- renewed. <laughs> Well, didn't the Romans steal the Greek uh, religions, mythologies, and stuff? Didn't they just like turn Zeus into Jupiter? Yeah, maybe that's I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah, I, just... I like that it's a New York sort of battle that's still sort of going on, like the group between the Greeks and the Romans. <laughs> He's like, uh, you know, the real truth is those fucking Romans. Those fucking Romans did this. Yeah, you Instead always forget. The, like, yeah, Ro- Ro- Romans. Uh, that's funny to imagine Romans as Italians, which they <laughs> technically were. Uh, but but it's just funny to imagine them in those, those outfits, but talking like Robert De Niro. Uh, Mark McKinney, uh, they, 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 uh, they, they were asking people to do uh, De Niro uh, impressions yeah. in this deadline interview. So, you know, pimping people to do impressions is like kind of like, oh, boy, what are we, how are we going to get a, 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 around this and make it funny? But Mark, Mark, Mark McKinney's impression of De Niro is, uh, hey, put down that fish. <laughs> I kept making him do it all, all weekend. It's very so funny. Awesome. I like that it's just like a plaintive, whiny, yeah. non-existent line from some weird... <laughs> So the hey, put down a fish. It's like the, no matter what actor you were, if that were the your catchphrase when people did impressions of you, you'd be like, "Ah, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna be a dentist. I don't want to be an actor anymore." Why did I? Why did I star in that movie? Uh, <laughs> we were trying to figure out what the title of the movie was, and McKinney said, "Don't talk to me with a fish in your hand." I got a big crush on him, as you can tell. I like I like hanging out with him. He's very charming. 
I don't. I, 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 well, I don't it sounds like you had a really good time. With it's all not your like friends. there's a, if if you're if you're if you're uh 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 you know Bruce McCullough and you're listening. I I did I didn't I I can't remember if I met you, but I didn't dislike you. I'm not saying that. You're just saying you have a favorite member now. It's just like I think he, I think he might be the most compatible with me. Out of all of them, so of everybody. I don't know about that. They're all pretty sweet. They're all very sweet. And they're all really, really, really smart. Yeah, but I like him the best. Um, uh, you haven't met the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I met a guy. I met. A, I think I've met them all. I got, now I can't remember if I ever met You've Bruce met McCall. Foley. I met. I met. I met Dave Foley. I've met Scott Thompson. I met Kevin McDonald. I've, I, I, did, didn't you yell at Kevin McDonald out of your car window? Or what did, you, did I? I, I, I don't know. No, no. I know. I I was going to yell at David Cross one time before. We met him, mm-hmm. like going, ah, Mr. Show or whatever. <laughs> Wait, before you met him. Before, before I, I, we just like moved to Los Angeles and we saw him walking down the street and I was, I said, I should roll down the window and yell Mr. Show at him. And I, and I didn't, I think I told Dan, I, sh- I, I was thinking about doing that. I'm glad I didn't. Cause that would have been, I, David oh, would yeah. not have thought that was awesome. He would have, no. Uh, no. No, he would have. He would have. He would have let you have it. Well, we were moving in a vehicle, right? Well, so, so I wouldn't have. If he did, he would have been saying it up my bumper. Cross yeah. is fast, though. There's the one thing he we all know fast? about Cross. He runs really fast. Uh, yeah. That's so why they call him Cross. Before they call him cross I met country. David Cross, the cross funny country. thing is, I, I swear, it was like. 4 a.m. It was ungodly. Like the sun was up because I remember it was broad daylight, but it was like so late. It was like there was nobody on the road. I was driving back to my apartment from probably from some God knows, like some who knows, a naughty party at an apartment. If it's 4 a.m., maybe there was coke involved. I don't know. I was I was like probably stayed on someone's couch so I wasn't too drunk to drive, and uh, I was coming home very very wee hours of the morning, and. Uh, and, and and at the intersection right over by my house, like 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 uh, it's just this the deserted uh, subdivision. Uh, this car is coming, uh, rolling up to the same stop sign, and he's kind of he's kind of rolling the stop sign. He got there way earlier than me, but didn't come to a full stop, um, which was fine. I wasn't it, 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 it wasn't like the person was doing anything really that wrong. But it was just, uh, the, the, but but it it. it the car was in the middle of the intersection as I approached it. And then it was David cross. <laughs> and he looked at my car coming up to the stop sign. And he, and he took both hands off the wheel of the car and put them both on the, on the glass of his on the driver's side of his Worse. car and did this like insane, like, Oh my God, I'm going to die. Like, like, performance like like as if my car was barreling towards him and he was screaming in in terror and then he just kept kept going i was, I was like that was david cross hilarious he, he, he just he, did a bit for me and this is and i've never and met did him he, did he oh he never met him and then i met, I met him eventually was, i think i probably brought that up and and how did he react? i can't remember because that's like i'm sorry i'm sorry you're sorry that, for what? I'm sorry, I can't remember because that's the next question. Well, then you you meet you met David Cross. Did you ever tell him that story? And what did he say? And that, that's obviously a very frustrating thing to not be able to tell you. I'm it's sorry. what people want to know. It's what everybody wants to know. Yeah, if, everybody, everybody, know everybody wants to know that. We went to the end where it goes, and then we became good friends. Yeah, it's 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 really irresponsible of me to not have that information. Do you think that he was maybe a little? Do you think he was coming from the same place you were coming from? I well, you mean you mean you mean lifestyle wise? Yes. I, yes. I, I I I probably I, awesome. I, maybe maybe more. I mean, I, it was just that time of the morning. Like where where else would he be? He's yes. not a, he's not a milkman. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways. Uh, oh, who's the, who's the first famous person? Yeah, we were t- remember wasn't it David Duchovny? We we we, we were in that. Sushi David house. Duchovny. Did we meet David? I've never met. I. I don't think I've ever met. That David was the Duchovny. answer. Yeah, you're right. It was. Okay. I thought, it sounded like you were correcting me. Like his real name's Michael Duchovny. No, no, I was confirming or affirming your. We were in a sushi restaurant and with our with, with eating like for one of the first times with our our agent uh, Blair Belcher at UTA and uh, uh, Rob <laughs> Rob put David Duchovny oh, yeah, yeah. is behind you. And I and I and I and I and I and I went, 
David Duchovny and turned around and a David Duchovny who was quite literally right behind me sitting oh. back to back with me in a tiny restaurant They're like his chair was touching mine therefore he just he heard his name and I so I turned around to see a, a confused David Duchovny's nostrils in my face uh, <laughs> And then, and then, and then I turned back around and focused on my thing, and, and our agent player was like, she chuckled and said, "You, you got to treat them like ghosts." Oh no, <laughs> the worst, <laughs> the worst. Bust them. So he started banging some ceremonial sticks together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just <laughs> shrieked. <him. laughs> Like that? Is You're... that how we're supposed to treat Mr. Duchovny? I'm sorry. <laughs> you had to go through that. Who gave did... you your ghost training? <laughs> that, yeah, that could work. Did you make your? Did you halfway through that? You're like, I better make this Native American chanting so sloppy that it's not offensive. You're, you're, oh, yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna go. Hoya, hoya, hoya. I better go. Hoya, hoya, hoya. I could have been doing Enya or any Lennox. Imagine <laughs> being made. Hoya, and then being like, shit. Oh, I gotta be Pima Ghost. I liked that observation. The celebrities are like ghosts. They they in, in L. A. Because there's millions of them everywhere, they're and they dress funny. Do you and, think they're lonely though? I, I mean, think like, here's what I think, Rob. Do you think I they're think lonely? they're starved for very very casual normal conversation that normal people have when they're you know sharing a bus stop. Because people are just like, oh, you're the guy from the thing, or people are like, I'm a big fan, but people aren't just all like, fucking the Steelers, right? Or whatever. Like, I feel like they hate because all their inter interactions are just so rarefied and not normal. And they must have lived with normal interactions before. Yeah. I think you do very more. I think I can answer this uh, as an internet celebrity. Um, it's great when people talk to you. And uh, <laughs> I hate it. I love uh, I love the hits. I'm really into the hits. We talk a lot about the hits. Branding. Um, <laughs> So, people, when you see me, feel free to just come up to me randomly and speak about some of my great internet videos. Uh, That's I, uh, awesome. Oh, and you see, if you see me, tell me about any cool new Blue, blue Apron meals you've had. What's the biggest you fucked up with a celebrity? Like, like I, I think I think Fred Savage probably. I, 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 Fred Savage, I, I think I made him hate me in two seconds. Uh, and, okay, let's hear let's this. Let's hear this. He, he, he was... Uh, Just Fred Savage? He was at a GQ... Uh, uh, Gentlemen's Quarterly. <laughs> uh, it was like uh, they have GQ has a party where it's like... I can't. I, some something in their magazine, like the hundred uh, most. Uh, what kind, of, what kind of party was it? What kind? Of, what was it? What kind of party? What? What was? What was? What was the decorations like? What were they serving? <laughs> Tell the story. It's at a party. I don't need to know your your the. the what's what music were they playing before you story fucked up? This is stupid, Rob. For <laughs> relief. Too I'm going right, to just right. complain at, about someone I telling a story. I was, I was I'm a Why do you hate person. me so much? Why <laughs> do you hate me? Just it's, cold, cold, and callous. I didn't great. want people to think that I went to the kinds of parties where Fred Savage is just hanging out. It was more of a function. You know? I want to know how good and how great this story is because I, I want to hear how you fucked over Fred Savage. Oh, yeah. I just like, I was, I, I, I was introduced to him. And you know he's a he's a director he's a TV director right. and uh and it's a, it's a you know and he's he's long since uh, yeah. been Fred Savage director producer you know respected by his friends and colleagues uh, you know not treated like a fucking circus freak uh because he happened to be on a TV show uh and I, I'm a fucking idiot from Milwaukee so I was <laughs> he was talking about like he said oh you should try the uh Shrimp. I'm making this up. I had like like some 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 small talk. Like 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 the shrimp just the shrimp appetizers are really good. And I and I I, I said when, when you when you're eating uh, the shrimp appetizers, does does Daniel Stern say that they're delicious in, in your head? Dan. And he wow. he looked at me like like that. <laughs> like oh, the, I, I love it. <laughs> he, I love it. Well, of course you love it. You're not Fred Savage. 
He he didn't like it, but I don't. I also don't want to tell the story in a way that makes him sound like he was petty or defensive. You know, I mean, I, he, I don't he think looked, anyone. He is. looked at me like I farted and was like, you know, like woo, it stinks in here. You know, it's like it's like he just looked at me like 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 okay, well, how do you expect me to? You know, like he just okay. Like, let me ask you a question. <laughs> like, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question because you're famous and you have fans and you've had fans who have not hit it out of the park a couple of times in person. I'd would be you willing say? to say the majority. And have yeah, they no. have they come up to you and said something like, oh, well, Annie or whatever, and, and you go, Ugh. or are you every time somebody just reminds you of something you made, you're 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 like, oh, that's sweet. That's cool. I honestly. Yeah, no, the, the latter. I honestly cannot think I, I, have, I have I had one encounter I can remember with with a guy that I did not like. And it it was a guy. It was at, at the uh, when we were on tour doing the Harmontown thing. It was in Somerville, um, and uh, the guy turned out to be he was a drunk guy that had wandered in and uh, only knew that I was famous. Didn't know who I was. So it was why the conversation was insulting and knobbish and 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 cloying and like all about him and and. And it, it, but, but 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 so it's, I, that that means that literally I've never really had a bad encounter with a Dan Harmon fan. Well, that's good. People that's are great. they're pretty straightforward. They 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 don't they don't they don't. There's no bit to do. They yeah. they they say Mr. Harmon or or are you Dan Harmon? And then they and then they they're very but flattering. If they go streets and, ahead, you're like, oh. Oh yeah, I certainly that's wouldn't good. punish anyone for for, for 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 really anything because I always think like this is something that you can't control. And that is going to be gone one day, and you're gonna, you, you know, you suck it up like, a, like, 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 even the, even, even if it's like, I, not that this has ever really happened, but even if it's not opportune, you know, like, uh, but, but I, it's never an inopportune time to uh, yeah. approach me because I'm, I, I, I'm not as, uh, as I hear celebrities sometimes say, uh, ever eating or with people. Right. I may look like I am, but I'm, I'm inside. I'm screaming out. I wonder if anyone recognizes me. And yeah. I love hearing the answer is yes. You're damn right. It's uh, a great by, it's a great byproduct <laughs> because it makes me feel like I can delay most of the work that I'm doing in therapy by another ten years because well, right. I I'm not a normal person I'm not perceived that way so why would I learn to acquire and tools it's also to coping? A, a good indicator of when it's over with yeah because when they stop doing that it's uh, it's over with yeah right yeah well uh, oh wait is that oh. He means the career. <laughs> he doesn't mean the fandom. When are we going to talk about what's on the chair? Yeah. Oh you, my gosh! Why what buy, is this? That's right. I brought that up. Why'd you buy a case for Dan's iPad that you've been borrowing? Oh no no no! The, I, if you weren't he here gave, the he other week, the I back. gave back Dan's iPad. Let's run. Oh, that I show. just assumed that was for show. No, we don't have it. And uh, okay. I, I uh, this iPad Pro was sent to me from our own Kevin Day, who works on Harmontown, and he and he wrote me and he's like, Hey, um, big fan. I heard you were <laughs> you're down. I had an extra one of these iPad pros and a pencil and I thought if this little tiny thing that I did could just make you just a little bit happier. Wow. I'm going to do it. Oh, come I'm gonna on. I'm going to do it. And so I was sweet. like, Kevin, that I'm touched. Thank you so much for doing that. I mean, so I, sweet. it's strange. Brandon, I've, I've known this guy maybe uh, a year and a half. A year and a half. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And he lives in, he doesn't live in Los right. Angeles. It's not uh, like he lives in my neighborhood. Right. He mailed it. What? And sent it out to me. Well, he must like, have mailed it from like maybe the next state over or something. Pos I mean, he had was, you talked about this with him before? No, he's just a, he just, a fan. He heard me fan. on, on, <laughs> okay. on uh, that that you know I've been uh -huh. depressed. I've lost my way. I don't right. know if I can go on anymore. I, I just you know just and I it, it, and we had this thing with Dan's. I there was a miss. Communication. No, I, I understand. You know, yeah. there's a miscommunication, and 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 I I bear the brunt of it, but it's it's over with now. But this is a really really nice, like byproduct of that. And I said, you know, you know, Kevin, I was like, you know, you know, you're you're a really good friend now, and you're you've always you've been since I've met you. You're a nice guy, and and I you know, you're a friend, and you're, you're not a friend. you're right. not 
you know, friend. responsible for my feelings. You know, wow. it's it's. But but thank you for this. And he, and he goes, whoa whoa whoa, <laughs> Shrab, what did you just say? I said you're not responsible for my feelings. Whoa, that's not true. Wow. I wow. come on. Care about your feelings. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Therefore, I take responsibility wow. for your feelings. And I was That's like huge. blown away. I, it looks like, like kind of a, it looks like, like, like a legacy iPad. Is I that mean, like I, a series I was just one? Like really, really, really. Nice. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's that's <laughs> technical or whatever. Right was now, was that just that was just when he? I was just like pen? drawing some stuff, you know, before, you know, I came on here, and it's just and it's great because you know. Can we take a look at what you? So ordered? was it expensive to get that iPad then? No, it was a gift. It was. Uh, it didn't cost you a lot of money. It was a gift. I know so where like, you're going with this. I know where you're going with this. Where? And it's over with. What are you talking it's about? Done. What are you it's talking done. about? It's done. Honestly, it's I'm done. offended. It's done. If it's we're gonna, if you're gonna jump down my throat every time I ask you questions about the nice things you bring to show off to our friends, then then we could do that every time. But I'm just trying to share in your excitement with this fun thing that you got, and you know, try and talk up and try and Lower make you voice. feel better by Lower expressing. <laughs> How Lower your expensive. Voice. Lower your voice. I'm right here. I and can we're hear such you. You friends, we don't even always tell each other how you're, they need to talk. You're literally, <laughs> you have a microphone. You stop shouting at me. And I can hear myself really well through the monitors, even with this microphone. It's great. Stop shouting. You're embarrassing yourself. Listen, why don't you guys share? <laughs> you know, uh, this is something I drew. Oh, oh pretty hey, cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You like that? Maybe show that to the gang. Oh, okay. It might right. be time for them to, to read that. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. take. So I drew this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it is. There's a uh, lot of. There's a lot of you know like just like different <laughs> different pens that you right. can use and filters. Right. This is. Uh, I'm not right. sure what brush this is, but I what really is, like it. Do you remember what inspired that what particular inspired work? That I just you know I was. Do you just have a like, name for that piece? I just like um, uh, you know like. The the name for this? Yeah. Universal question. <laughs> Universal. <laughs> and I, I understand that that's a metaphor for something real. Isn't that yeah, true? I, yeah. You know, it, I, I think it's up to interpretation. You okay. look at it. And I want the audience to look at it and, and just like go, how does this make you feel? I mean, right. like, what, you know, what is. Uh, right. Yeah. So, I mean, like, what that's else just. Do you have? Uh, yeah. Because that is uh, that is an inspirational piece. If, you yeah, could, if you'd like to see Rob's art, we'll upload it to the Instagram. <laughs> Or I could tell you it says, why am I not going to Boston in childish uh, no. Uh, scrawling? No, calligraphy. <laughs> uh, the uh, language that Ben Franklin invented. If you'd like a low-cost iPad, try Honey. It's a service that installs a coupon detector on your web browser oh with, man you could save so much money within two clicks you could have a very affordable product oh man oh man <laughs> oh man <laughs> hey rob what did that thing say the ipad for uh for anyone who is just happening to maybe just holy listen shit to this you're podcast. that fucking high he just said wow. <laughs> you're that fucking <laughs> oh no i'm blasted <laughs> yeah I think so. Yeah. I don't think you know what room you're in. Let's back <laughs> off, all right? Don't harsh it. Don't harsh it, bud, high, drug, weed. I'll just say that I've been, I've been yes-anding every which way this whole evening. You've been, I, th I think you've been pretty good. No, that's what, I, that's I'm, what I'm, I'm saying. I'm, I'm very low energy, and you've, you've stepped up. To, we, uh, and I'm not blaming anybody. When we talk about Boston, or Boston, uh, what, uh, what are we talking about here? A show in Boston coming up? Right. Yeah, I guess we're we're going to Boston to do a that. show. Yeah, I don't get it. Are you from Boston? No. Oh, well. What don't you get about it? Why would you would shoot yourself in the foot? Hmm. Pick your shots, kid. Uh, where, Pick your uh, shots. Do you, know, do you, <laughs> you ever know, see Milton Berle and Richard that, Pryor? I'm going to say the same thing I said to you. I'm going to say it in front of all these people. Pick your shots. Uh, that's a, you ever see that clip? No. That's Richard Mil Milton Berle, uh, like... Like coming down on Richard Pryor on Dick Cavett was it or Whoa. Carson? Uh, it was either Dick Cavett or like not Phil Donahue the other one. It was a talk show like of that time. Right. But it's, it was it was it was because Richard Pryor kept like laughing. Like he started laughing at Milton Berle who because Milton Berle was trying to share. He was sharing like some sentiment about 
some about a divorce he had or uh, oh he he asked this woman to have an abortion or something <laughs> fucking heavy and richard pryor was like couldn't stop laughing wow and and milton bro got pissed off but it's like dude you you're a comedian why are you t- talking about this hard st- it's crazy also cocaine <laughs> also cocaine also cocaine he was also talking, but it's a, it's a, it's okay. a, it, there are clips of Richard Pryor where you're like, oh, that feels a little, uh, you know, you're a little less on his side than, than yeah. on it. But that's, that's a clip where you're on Richard Pryor's side because Milton Berle is talking about some w- w- lady in his life that he kind of, you know, went through and had this horrible impact on it. He said, he's not, it's not, he's not a, pol- he's not, he's not, he's, he's sort of, I, as I recall, the, the the tone of 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 what he's saying is uh, kind of like um, I, he's kind of patting himself on the back about yeah. about about how altruistic he is or something. I can't really remember. It's, it's, it, it's, 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 when Richard Pryor starts laughing, it's like you you agree that it's like it's it's got to be hard to sit on that couch and, yeah. and without laughing. It did seem like there was like the old school of comedy and the new school of comedy just butting heads and the old school was like at that moment going is is just fighting to stay right. on top but is losing the battle you know it's like it's time to time to back off there's a prior chevy chase that is like that when they're on the tonight show oh yeah i saw that one yeah and, oh yeah uh, oh. richard pryor is not pleased with chevy chase and it's yeah. just sort of like really what well, i didn't yeah see i one. make more money than you chevy <laughs> What? Chevy's really trying to like he's new and he's really trying to be on the good side of people, but he doesn't have it. Yeah. So it's uh it's interesting. Because ah. yeah. yeah, you get yeah. it was like literally like a uh sort of a frat boy meets a street fighter. We 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 just learned or just had it confirmed recently that Richard Pryor also was was fucking and sucking uh uh what Brando and I think Brando yeah, like what didn't Sydney, who, 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 Quincy, Quincy Jones said, "Oh yeah, why don't Brando fuck Richard Pryor?" <laughs> and and, and then go, went are, on to. So did you did you see Stranger Things? It was pretty crazy last night. Like, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up. What are you also, talking about? Also, Brando fucked. I mean, we can't get them on the phone and say, "Is this true?" Yeah. But then Pryor's widow, I saw in the it, it, it was she, she. She was like, "Yeah, well, R- Richard wouldn't even mind uh, me confirming that he was very proud of his bisexuality." I was like, "Whoa!" I, I, I just never, I never, well, I never, he was I never heard like, uh, of him referred to like 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 with that label. But she, you, she was like, "He loved he loved the he loved the fact that he was he was he, was, he fucked the most famous handsome men in the industry." Yeah. Uh, and, and, Had and you he was seen his it. earlier stand-up where he talks about having sex with men? I sucked. Does it. he? Yeah. I don't. I, I never. Saw, I'm not familiar with that. He does. It's his second album, and there's a film. There's actually film footage of him young, in like a black sweater and a skull cap, and he's saying like, "Sucking a dick doesn't make you gay." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess that's, um, he was. He had like a big. Wasn't there was like some kind of gay pride concert where he comes out and says, like, "I sucked a dick. It's yeah. no big deal." And they 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 turned on him and yeah. then he walked i don't know what the details do you remember that one? that one i don't remember i just remember him very early on because of saying like i grew up in a whorehouse so it's not a big deal i've seen all sorts of shit so it's crazy yeah that, that would be a guy along with freddie mercury uh harold ramus uh i know where this is going well, i'd like to you know phil collins david mamet Lee Majors. <laughs> there are some. There, there, there are, are a there's a short category of people Loretta. that are just like I. Th- this was a. Little, this was unfair. I'd like to. Like to. I'd like to tweak history and and keep them around. They could have done us a lot of oh, good. Oh, I thought you. I thought you were making a list of who the guys you would have sex with. Oh no. <laughs> nervous, nervous laughter though. <laughs> I already. I had so my. True. I li- I listed my. Uh, it was D- Duchovny, uh, G- George Michael, and uh, who else? What was it? Peter Dinklage. I can't remember. Yeah, Peter Dinklage. Don't 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 David don't, don't high road me. I'm not fucking homophobic. No, no, I'm not. There's I'll, no, fu- there's I'll nothing... fuck you right now. Sure. No. <laughs> I won't even enjoy it. I'll suck the dick off your body. Gross. Look at him. Suck your nuts out of your Look at him ass. as he talks to you. I don't. 
look at him. Oh, and I won't charge you a lot, so don't worry. Shrub, you you can any... use a coupon from Honey. Stop it. Shrub, Stop. You, you have any I messed up with the celebrity stories? You're pretty uh, polite, though, so no. Right? And I'm a Do pussy, so I don't talk to anybody. But I, I did. I was drunk at a party, okay. and I went up to Brad Dourif, and I said, you're so fucking great in Blade. You got to do more shit like that. And he went, uh-huh, and walked away. And I was like, and then it's like all of a sudden, like, everybody in the party went, Poof. <laughs> I was alone on the dance floor. Like, he wasn't, we weren't on the dance floor, but it was like, oh. I just had, like, this moment of clarity of, like, I was way too drunk to talk to anybody. It's, and that's embarrassing. This is, this is I a hope no one saw that. This is a little unrelated, but it reminded me of, of, of that. I, when I was in Sweet Charity in the CB Valley Community Theater. Whoa. Uh, How is Charity? Uh, <laughs> dumb. That's, you did Community Theater at CB Valley? That's right. I was That's probably crazy. down the street from, your, from, from a baby Spencer's I'm, house. I'm sure I drove by that place a bunch. I mean, after You're probably your still time, making 20 sided poops in your little diaper. Yeah. I was only up to 18. 20 sided <laughs> poops. <laughs> 20-sided poops. 20-sided poops and a bitch ain't one. <laughs> I got a critical hit. I got a triangular tit. I got three dice. And some Homie's pussy. like, you only got ten sides. Uh, but I... I sided poops and a bitch ain't uh, one. I, the, 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 Did you the, have to audition for that? I Yeah. Okay, can we have a little of that? Uh, not your audit. Oh, Here listen. is a man with no <gasps> dream and no plan, but then suddenly I found sweet charity. Okay, stop. Take it again. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. So is sweet charity one of those where fade up, they sing until the very end? No. Or they're like, Miss Charity, no, will you a, come in here and take a letter yeah, for me? It's a Neil Simon don't, play don't, 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 uh, with some songs. I it. don't take letters. Nope. I make coffee. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. I don't know who I am. I wish I was the Prince of Egypt, the Prince of Mexico. <laughs> I want to be a sweet charity. <laughs> sweet charity. Sweet charity. Sweet charity. Sweet charity. Wow. Sweet charity. Sweet charity. Charity. Is it like that? Yeah, yeah. What a great time for Demorge to walk in. I, I, wonder, I wonder what he thinks this episode's about. <laughs> what if Demorge walked in and just kept turned he just walked out? You turn and just walked out. We never saw him. He again. Heard you, hears you singing and he's <laughs> And just then like, we nope. find like a message in a bottle. It says, Shrab made me question. Reality. Anyways, I, I I was in Sweet Charity at Simi Valley I Community finished, Theater. Right? Yeah. I went to the I went to the rap party at which was just at someone's house in Simi Valley, and right. I it wasn't like the GQ. The party? people were doing karaoke in the living room, which was uh -uh. three feet from the house's only bathroom, and I went into it and I took the worst yeah. shit oh, in the history yeah. of shitting. Poop. Party shit, uh, and and ju like it was so. It was like it was it, it, it was Why? insane. I, well, I had to, you know, no, when when, it, when a shit when a shit is that gross. The irony is, you gotta take it. Okay, you can't keep it in. Okay, it's oh, like it's top top for the same it. reason that it was a horrible experience. I the, like like I just the entire house. Did you walk there out? A corner. Did you walk out of it and go? I, I left. I was in left. before I me. Just, I destroyed oh, the party no. and I I left because I'm like I'm not gonna hang out here. It smells like fucking well, shit. I think everybody <gasps> left, right? Well, they kind of. I mean, they just they were. You could see people singing karaoke and just being like, "Sweet well, home, Alabama." Putting on their jackets. <laughs> It was just Can we light some awful. candles? Can we light Sweet Home Alabama? Do Seriously. you make <laughs> candles? Do you make eye contact with anybody as you leave? I well, uh, 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 no, not as I left. Uh, as I came out, because I was kind of like I was wondering, like maybe it's maybe it's one of those things where just only me. I can smell it because it's mine. Like it's like a key right. tumbler. Like that's usually what happens. Yeah, it's like a Pokemon that that, that I, I I captured. And, right. Oh. It's 9-11. It's 9-11. Oh, Do you remember it, Halloween where you were a Ghostbuster? And yeah. uh, and you had, like, you dressed up as Peter Vinkman, and, and you had the like, Ghostbuster. You had a really cool, like, like we, 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 we I helped you, you made, a little you, bit, and, and we, we were working on 
our Halloween costumes for this is back when we did Halloween costumes. You made me a, a great uh, pro, proton pack. It lit up. It was it was pretty badass. That was some real fun. It was pretty shit. cool. It was really cool. That's but good. I remember the morning of, I get a call. I'm woken up by by you saying. Please don't laugh. I'm super constipated. Oh. Can you get me some All right. medicine? <laughs> yeah. And and you were dead. Don't you can't laugh. And I just went, <laughs> and you were so mad. Like, shut up. Stop laughing. I need you to help me right now. I was on, I was on Atkins for <laughs> so you just ate nothing. Three weeks. You had a then, cheese and, and plug during which I lost track of how little I had shit. Yeah, Ooh. and and because it's Atkins and you're you, you gain control over your life, you're not that hungry because there's no blood sugar and like you just you just you just you just fucking you got the bull by the horns. You're you're, you're walking, walking, walking tall, losing weight like left and right, and then and then and then I went into the bathroom. I was like, oh, time to poop. Feels like I gotta poop, and it was like. It was. Just, it was. Like, oh God! I think people warned me about this. I. I don't think I've had any fluids for three. I don't know what I've yeah. been eating. I, I've yeah. never been paying attention to any. I just. And it was like, ow, ow, ow. Oh. Well, that's that's sharp. It was like a a baseball made of stalactites. Oh. Like it was like a. You know those. Uh, it was you the know best those, moment of my life. You know those. I, you know those naval mines in under the ocean. That's what it felt like. It was uh, shaped like. Uh, like you were shitting a pipe cleaner through your I'm belly button. Shitting, but that sounds nice. That's that's. <laughs> You're that sounds a sea mine. Uh, now we, now I know what navy much. are you in? A <laughs> pipe cleaner is a soft. It's a brush. No, bro. Pipe cleaner is soft, but then it's got the metal shit. It's got oh, the I, metal yeah. shit in it. I guess a pipe, pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner. Okay, you mean like the pokey part. Like the... Uh, I mean a pipe cleaner, Dan Harmon. <laughs> I will not a be piece of yarn. <laughs> it's not a feather. It's Should a pipe D cleaner. Should we play D&D like... before, we, uh, before we define what a We're not finished pipe? with this story. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, so that's not the end of the story. Dan's 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 going. You can't. You have to go and get me some medicine because I'm. I can't get out of. I can't get. Out, I can't leave right. the apartment. Postmates hasn't been invented. Right. Even right. if it wow. had. Uh, and I was like, I will. I I'd love to be a part of this. Of course, <laughs> I will go to Rite Aid and buy you everything. And I and I I bought so much stuff. And I, and I it was it was great because. I could go up to people and I said, what's the best medicine when you are constipated? It's not for me. Hilarious. <laughs> and they were like, oh, this stuff works great. And then they're like, oh, but it, you're going to take it, and it's going to take two days, really, for it to kick in. And I was like, oh, okay. So I, I take, come back and I go, it says that, like, one tablet says it's going to take two days to take Take a well, I got, We got a Halloween party tonight. We got a Halloween party tonight, and you're dating this new girl that you really like, and she's throwing it at her house. You're you're dressed up as a Ghostbuster. I'm going to be a little green man. Jeff Davis is Snow White. We're really we went out. We went all out. This is going to be a great big fun night. We're all going to do drugs and jump around. And you you got you you you're 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 like it's this is it's a, if you have a bad time, I'm going to have a bad time. So I want to help you out here. So it says, one pill is going to take two days. Well, okay. We don't have gonna, two days. We don't have two days, so you're going to have to take at least like four or five of these. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, that no, probably no. And, then, and, then, and then Dan's like, I don't know, I don't know. I go, no, 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 I think it's okay. I think it's okay. <laughs> no, it's not. What's the worst going to happen? You shit. That's the problem. That's the, this, this, <laughs> what's the worst thing that's going to happen? You shit a lot. Why did we buy this? To shit. To shit. You're going to feel so much better. Okay. Like you were. He slid and, it and, under and the and door. I give it to you and you're like, all right, okay. And you take it. <laughs> nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens. Party. Dancing around. Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on some mask. Hell yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Happy Halloween. <laughs> and there's still no shit. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> burr, 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 burr. <laughs> yeah, I, I went to the bathroom and keep in mind, it's not like the pill goes into your body and then goes down on top of the softball sized turd that's lodged There's in your rectum in and turns that soft. It's 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 it, what it does do is 
it 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 lubricates the muzzle of the gun to the point where the bullet comes is now fireable and i so i i i shot a oh. basketball of oh. diamond shit into uh i think i i think i cracked the ceramic uh I, I, it, 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 it was, and then, and then, and then learned what was happening under that cork. Yeah. For the last yeah. six hours. Yep. Which was Loch Ness. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it was a Kennedy autopsy. It was. It is crazy that the body will, um, how should we say, uh, uh, it will betray you. <laughs> because it will be a cork, which is what led to. <laughs> led to this constipation was the cork and then behind the cork is this fine rich wine <laughs> oh. fine wine <laughs> and then as soon as you pop the cork you think to yourself i'm gonna pop the cork and eat, drink this wine it's gonna be such a party we're gonna drink this wine yeah but no you pop the cork and the wine makes you wish you yeah. have more cork yeah yeah i wanted yeah. my cork back you're a vic you're <laughs> you're essentially a victim of yourself yeah but then you gotta wonder is this thing gonna flush it's just like like yeah. I, I don't even what do i do what if you do what you did at the karaoke party? You just walk. You leave just, the party. Just walk out. Just go. Just good out. luck. Also, you were in a. I'm. I'm. You're in a, a jumpsuit, correct? Yeah, exactly. I got a, a styrofoam proton pack on, and yeah. Oh so you're boy. Naked. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, I was, yeah. I guess I was. I had my. I had sleeves around my knees. Yeah, oh. and 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 a proton pack next to it. Let's sink go ahead and, and uh, let's run that footage. <laughs> No? Okay. That's fine. It would be amazing. We, we, we really never record the moments that we should from our life. Probably hopefully hopefully we'll all have, like, Black Mirror, like, like you know, contacts. They that... got, they're making drones that can fly around and just, like, be a personal camera now. When they get those batteries up, that would be crazy. Just have people, like, you know, live blogging their whole lives from, like, a, an autonomous drone that's filming them. I'd be fucking what, down. Like little little insect sized drones. I think it's like the camera is like a little box, and then the quad rotors are just this really thin thing that goes out of the box, and it's maybe I don't know. The that's size a, that's of how it. the shit felt. Quad rotors. Brandon, do you have any celebrity stories? <laughs> I fucking ruin every opportunity I get to meet a celebrity. Um, it's why I mostly do animation now. <laughs> Second high. You record at separate times. I uh, I punked people for the Ashton Kutchner. And uh, that that is that involves fucking a lot of people up. Right, they probably um, love that. So you know that that was that was pretty awful. What was oh the god, worst that one? would be a what fucking the, nightmare. What was the punks that you were like, this is gonna go way bad? I, I don't. What were we thinking? Was was there anything that went like there was like, Mackenzie Phillips is like, I'm gonna fucking ruin you. I'm gonna fucking ruin you. Fucking ruin you! These garbage cans are not for sale! Get the fuck out! <laughs> Why Is would you like, make me think I was pregnant? That's this not is funny! Shit! I've been this trying is for three months. Mackenzie Phillips, yeah, once we punked Stalker Channing. Oh. Um, you know. Yeah, we punked, I'm so old, we punked Phoebe <laughs> Kate. <laughs> Mackenzie. <laughs> I'm so old. One day at a time, punks. Yeah. I punked. Yeah, I punked Minnie Pearl. <laughs> I punked the cast of Maud. <laughs> <laughs> On hee haw. We told Estelle Getty that we had her house keys, <laughs> and we did not. I pushed Ben Vereen down some soft stairs. <laughs> it's okay. These stairs are soft. Look. I'm pushing on him soft. It's going to be okay. I'm going to shove Ben Vereen down the stairs. For a second, he's going to think he's going to break his neck. But when he hits the stairs, oh, I thought the, soft. I thought the prank was that Ben Vereen thought the stairs were soft, and then you swap them out for hard stairs. That's the, the footage Take that, that ben we played Vereen. Ben Vereen when somebody said, they, they're going to punk you. But then when he, he saw, after he saw the footage. Who was 10 speed stairs. and brown shoe? That was Flip Wilson and uh, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. Wow. 10 Speed and Brown Shoe. Google that shit, you fucking millennial cyborgs. Yeah, look it up. No, uh, should we, are we uh, gonna... Uh, I don't know, are we? I got a celebrity story. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Spencer's in any shape to D or D. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking blasted. Although Jeff's going to be gone for a while, so that's certainly no reason not to play D&D &D because he's, if we're, if we're, if we're, we're not going to wait for Jeff to come back to play D&D because &D that motherfucker is just bailing.
failed. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Is like well, that's why you can't stop. Is because when you start tomorrow, making allowances, then right? there's only a lot that from there on out, everyone's like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's hard. Just don't accept a promise from Jeff Davis. That's yeah. what I. That's, wow. That's my my motto. He, he, ain't, he ain't here. That's all it took. He that's a know. huge broken promise. Yeah, that's all it took. <laughs> so I pissed off <laughs> Lin Manuel Miranda. Oh Holy man. Shit. Oh um, man. Well. On. <laughs> On Twitter, you know, uh, right. that that ponytailed prodigy. Damn, I guess that you just long really hair don't like the dude, dude like you. you don't like the dude, and that's okay. You don't like you. I threw away my shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, but shots fired. Get him. What? So yeah, no, it's just someone tagged him on on Twitter when I was when I was on Twitter, and so he was like. Uh, he like followed me on Twitter really quick, and then he saw the thing I said about Hamilton, which was not nice. And um, what did you say? Come on, it's it's, it's not nice. You can the find Hamilton it. play isn't a nice play. Yeah, I was like, this play seems not nice. See at Lin Manuel Miranda. Take, take, take things seriously. What I, did you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's you, take these seriously. No, you're not. You're you're being will... aggressive, and and it's not nice. And you're shouting again. So stop it. No, don't tell me what to say. Okay, say nothing. Okay. I uh, got him. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. All right, so bad, -dog. it wasn't nice, and it was something that he was upset by, presumably. <laughs> so then he followed me and then saw the thing, and then he unfollowed me, and he was like, yeah, you know, it's not as good as a Dan Harmon rap, but I hope someday you'll you'll check it out. What? So just totally high roaded it, and then I just and got I got fucking... caught in the crossfire, and I got well, fucking shade thrown on my everybody style. Everybody did. It was a it was a whole it was a whole mess. <laughs> wow. Retta was uh, was on me. Who? You know, Retta, unforgettable. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, it was it was great. And so then, not super later after i don't know it was it was a good deal after that but we've we've never interacted since i've never seen hamilton whatever um we're doing this live read at the starburns castle and um some 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 young 17 year old punk punk short hair punk, punk comes comes rolling up to our our back door area knocking on the door and so i open it up and i i see this young punk and i'm like <laughs> Oh, hey, are you with the show? You know, because I'm not going to just be all like, you know, members only because I'm a nice guy. But still, the mood was, you don't belong here, you know, even though I was cordial about it. And he had a friend with him. And so it's like, are these kids think this is the back door or whatever? And, you know, it turns out Lynn Rand, well, Randy doesn't have a ponytail anymore. He's got a haircut. <laughs> No, and so it's like, yeah. And I was like, oh. And, the, and so he's like, yeah, I, yeah. And I was like, oh, what's your name? And he was like, Lynn. And so Lynn is a fucking, the name any Dan Harmon fan would have, just a normal fucking weird, weirdo name. And I'm like, oh, Lynn. And then so I, I kind of slowly and awkwardly what? back up to let him in. And then he's with his friend. And then... And then he can tell that I haven't, like, I'm still, like, my guard's up or, like, I don't know what's happening. I, I, he, he can tell I haven't clocked that it's him. Right. And then, and then he holds his hand out to shake me, and he's, he shake my hand. And no, he's shake like, you. Yeah, no. He's, he grabs me. He shakes me with one arm. <laughs> Thank you. My legs are off the floor. <laughs> and he starts rapping to the rhythm of the, of the shaking. He throws me away like he wouldn't have done to his shot. It's the second so second joke reference on the same concept. Anyway, he shakes my hand and he's like, "I'm a huge, huge fan." And right in that moment, I'm like, "He's Lin Manuel Miranda." And then I'm like, and then I was like, "Oh, uh, th thank you." And then like I kind of just turn immediately away, like because it's just awkward. And so it's like now this is me not recognizing him, and then. Hit, turning his praise of me into just completely blanking him and not returning any praise or being like, oh, my God, thank you so much. It's such high praise, you know. And then that's the end of that interaction for the whole night. And it's just like, this guy must think I'm the biggest piece of shit on the planet. Like the most petty, weird, aloof guy. Yeah. So, and, you know, so he's not you, wrong. You, you were embarrassed. <laughs> you were in, oh, shit, this is Lin-Manuel. And in your embarrassment, you did a, just a quick turn. But he didn't know you were embarrassed, so he like what? he probably processed that as oh you said I said yeah. something nice about you and I was like thanks and then you moved yeah it was like that's that's how I would have processed it if I it like happened it. to me 
I like it. No, it I, it's a gangster. great. It's an amazing yeah, story, but it it's a gangster. fucking yeah. nightmare. <laughs> I mean, it, it, he's he's truly. It's like if I if I like broke Mr. Rogers' leg or something. <laughs> it's like truly, there's not a lot of better people that I could have chance, be on the wrong side of. You never got a chance to go like you know like after the show. Hey man, when I turned there, no, I no. did it at a. I'm really sorry. I was, I was too tweet. far in this a hole. This beef is unsquashed. Yeah. Uh, Do not squash Maybe he's listening. No. <laughs> if that you want unsquashed beef sent to your home, Blue Apron... Uh, is teaming with Airbnb all this month with Honey.com to do beautiful coupons for... Uh, that reminds me of a story about somebody who is is famous, but I know that I had an exchange with, but which was just as awkward as that one. I was at Gelson's shopping for groceries, and Tim Heidecker came out. This is years ago, like right after the Sarah Silverman program got canceled. And uh, I see Tim, and at the time, at the time, like Mr. Uh, or not Mr. Uh, like Tim and Eric's awesome show, great job, was still on the air, and I loved it, and I still love it. And uh, every time I saw Tim and Eric, I would go, oh, I love your stuff. I, I'm a big fan. I love it. And so, so I see Tim, and and I was like, this season's been great. It's fucking awesome. Really cool, just just such a big fan. You're such an inspiration. And he's like, oh, oh, thanks so much. And he leans in and he says, condolences on the show. And here's t- and and he's saying condolences on the show because Sarah Silverman program just got canceled. But I thought when he leaned in and sit, whispered it almost to me because he's hip comedian Tim Heidecker. I thought he said. <laughs> After I said, I love the show, I love the show, and he leans in, and he, I thought he said, Ken Dolan's <laughs> is on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit, who's Ken Dolan's? <laughs> Sounds familiar. Um, I should... It's one of the monkeys. I should... Yeah. I, I should, I should <laughs> probably know that I don't want Tim to think I'm, I'm square, so I'm just going to be positive about it. Obviously, and I went, it's, a, it's a man so famous... Yeah. That that you have to lower your voice yeah, just to yeah. talk about him. Don't 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 let this leak. But we <laughs> locked Ken Dolan. <laughs> and uh, and so he he's he's leaning in saying, condolences on your show. It's got to <laughs> suck, you know. And and and, yeah, and, a huge and I'm thinking, holy shit. I, I don't want to think like a square, so I'm going to spin this positive. And I go, cool, with a thumbs up. <laughs> That's so, and and so he le- so he from his point of view he goes, hey condolences on your show, you know being canceled. It's got to suck. <laughs> and I and I go cool. <laughs> and then he looked at me like anybody would, and walked away. You know, and it wasn't I'm until sad. I was halfway home driving in the car and I went, condolences on the show. Fuck. <laughs> And I have never had a chance to. I should have called him up. I should have drove to his house. I said, I thought you said Ken Dolan. You're like outside his shower. I thought you said Ken Dolan. Uh, and I'm, I, <laughs> and then he would have went. So if I did say Ken Dolan, and you didn't know who it was, you would have pretended like you did, so you thought you were cool. That's reasonable. Ugh. That's he'd get that. Yuck! What kind of Heather's kind of. Gross. <laughs> Trying to be something you're not. Well, he Wait probably... till I tell everybody tomorrow. Oh, you, won't, you, won't, you, you won't be involved in any more of their reindeer games. <laughs> Lick it up, baby. Lick it okay. up. Lick it okay. up. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> oh, you're destroyed. Oh, it's you're over done, with buddy. you. Monday you... morning. When I tell everybody that you don't know who Ken Dolans is, Rob Schraub. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Dolans is Ken Dolans. Zorro in Zorro, Zorro. Dolans's <laughs> Zorro Fucks Given, a Ken Dolans production. Uh, should we, I mean, among our options are, what time is it now? 9.30. Don't oh. take a lift home. Don't take a... Uh, what? Don't don't take an Uber. Shrub will give you a ride. I'll oh. give you a ride. Okay. All right. So those that's one option for the night sorted. That should save me some yeah. money. Who uh, who are we boycotting this week? Do I pay Wait. for your Uber? No, no, no. I just that's going to be very affordable for me. Stop it. Instigating. 
I can't remember who was Instigating. I know Nobody? it's important. I know it's important to you to take somebody as arrogant and full of themselves wow. as somebody who just is just just so confident and is just riding a high streak right now to just put me in my place. <laughs> I know it's important to just like go, hey buddy, huh? Remember your remember your friends, buddy. <sighs> Remember We're not going to have this. Like this this is being nice, and this is yeah. what's acceptable on a stage. Yeah. I, you know, I. All right. You know, it's it's important. I know it's important. We, Tall uh, poppy syndrome. I know. It's well, important. you should make it less funny to pick on you. It's funny. It's like a pinata. The I candy comes out. Like, what if a pinata was like, "Stop hitting me"? It's like there's candy. That would be even better. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy like, shit! Cut that out of the podcast. That's actually a good Pixar movie. That's a great. It's a great everything. The, the triggered pinata. <laughs> Don't hit me. We'll workshop it. That's yeah. a horrible thing that you think like if a sentient thing was saying, "Stop hitting me," that that would want you, make you want to hit it more. Yeah, and what if you bleed also and cry? Yeah, Holy like, shit! Like, like if sheep could scream. Yeah. <laughs> when you kill them, <laughs> and they had an idea that you were making sweaters, and they were just like, no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we could. That could do, be good. Do, do we? Do we want? Do we? Do we? I'm down to do it. I just wanted to tell that story that I had earlier. That's the only reason why. That's I a didn't crazy watch story. Indirect. I know it's a cra it's I, crazy. It doesn't come up. I do want you to. I honestly have to say, I do want you to stand strong on the way you feel about Hamilton, <laughs> because I I do think that even Lin Manuel understands how you feel. He's he's a fa you know he's a fan of rap, but I also think he understands that what he's doing is sanitized rap. But what that's if very clever, very awesome. Did you see incredible. my tweets? <laughs> what were you? Okay, tweets? good. Not what knocking you, him. Yeah, you, me. What, what? What were your tweets? No, I don't want to talk. I'm. I. I don't. Did you don't want to talk about no, it. Bitch ass. You okay. Yeah. I mean, I I I mean more, more more like Crappleton. Um, <laughs> Uh, why, why didn't someone give this guy a manual uh, I said, for I, how to rap better? I, I said, uh, to drop a C because this is some crap music I'm oh. listening to. And it just says rap. So I think he might have left a C somewhere <laughs> off, the, off the word. Pretty good. Uh, welcome to our ool. Notice there's no P in it. Let's keep it that way. I don't know if that was a warning to him uh, just from a, you know, if your experience as a camp counselor. I'm but. sure he was surprised because when you look at you, you go, well... This guy loves rap. This guy is a big rap fanatic. This motherfucker this... looks like old oh boy. What are he you look, talking about? He, he looked look like uh, I'm Action Bronson over here. No, uh, the, old, the Godfather. old dirty bastard. No, the Godfather. Uh, the Mar like Mario Puzo. Oh, Jesus, Mario Puzo. You guys, Mario Puzo. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Who am I talking about? No, goddamn it! <laughs> the Godfather Santa Claus. from the the other part of Run DMC. The people, the person oh. we never ever see. Uh, yeah. Jazzy Jeff. Kendolans, yeah, Ken 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 MC Dolans. K Dole. <laughs> Why can I not think of the street's name? I mean, I'm sure people like it. I just the rap seem to be off meter, and it's like raps. It needs to be like the meter is all there is in rap. Yeah. And so if you're like, I have a banana and my friends from Panama, then it's like, well, that doesn't really. I mean, I sure, uh, it's well, great for a music. I agree to disagree. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna agree. That's the. That is the issue. Is that it is proficient. It is clever. It is right. It's, it's very highly tuned too, which and, is impressive. And it is a wonderful piece, but rap maybe not. Poetry, um, sure. Poetry, sure. I like the the British kingdom singing to America. You'll be back, like that that part. Mm -hmm. They were right. Ba -da -ba -da. Rick yeah, Rubin. Really. God damn, that was killing me. This motherfucker looked like, like Rick, Rick Rubin. Like when Rick Rubin yes. starts singing. Yes. It's damn fucking it. great. Uh, I like it. What? <laughs> <laughs> I like it when Hamilton's mom uh, does the song, You're Talking About It. <laughs> <laughs> this is, Britain's stupid. They're, they're, they're so, well, they make more money than you ever will. <laughs> You're talking about it. That means it's good. <laughs> if a billboard gets your attention, it's doing what it should. Don't complain about graphic design. You're a kid from Milwaukee, and you're all mine. I birthed you out of my vagina, and I will make you mediocre if I can. Like the mom in Pink Floyd's The Wall. I'll suffocate you with my arms. I love mitigating. I have 
titties grating. I don't know what I was great this Titties grating. Uh, um, I guess I like Hamilton now. Yeah. What are you going to do with the rest of your week? What about tomorrow? Aspirin, Minecraft. I got 48 jobs to do. And a bitch ain't one. Boom. Thank you. Call back. Nature. <laughs> Nature. <laughs> should, we, should we at least have, should we have to merge up Steve Levy up? Oh, yes. yes. For sure. Let's just have them both come up. Yeah, let's do that. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, the comedy team of Demorge and Levy. Demorge and Levy. Offering services for 20 years. Don't ever believe me when I say that Demorge and Levy are coming to the stage again. Demorge and Levy Fresh off a birthday tour Demorge A birthday tour Levy They're both gonna fuck right now Levy. We're gonna make a fuck And we're Levy. gonna watch Start now Demorge and Levy Fucking right here They're, You need to get the live broadcast Five dollars a month Go <laughs> They're fucking right now. Uh, <laughs> fucking and loving it. Oh, they didn't think they would. Why do you look oh, so yeah. fancy, George? I know, he grazed better than anyone. They're still right. fucking, right. by the way, can, during can this Can a guy wear a tie? Uh, 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 do, do you need a ladder to crawl? Get, get back off my ass, is what you're saying. You're like, what's yeah. with the third degree? I, like, like, I, I wore a fucking tie. What am I like? Demorge Brown, birthday yeah, weekend. Damn right. right. Birthday weekend, Demorge Brown. That's true. Is it your birthday weekend? Uh, birthday weekend. Birthday weekend. Birthday, the actual birthday is uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday. and uh, Not on the weekend. On the weekend. That's how he gets down. Yeah. Oh, okay, so okay. Weekend before the birthday. What are you going to do on your weekend birthday? <laughs> we had a party on Friday night. And then Saturday, what did I do? I shot some you know, silly Person. little thing. And Was then, that that uh, thing you were talking about? No, all that was like the week before. Oh, okay. There was, was a bunch of stuff the week before. But then uh, today, my friends uh, Kyle Duck and Graham and Molly Evan had a crab boil, a crawfish boil. Yeah. So just mountains. I was at one of those crawfish. recently. Dude, just corn and so violent. And and, what? <laughs> the eating? Like dismembering crabs? I the just eating? like, I just like, I went to one a couple weeks ago with my buddy Scott and. Shellfish? Yeah, they're crab, yeah, yeah. They all get shipped in live. No, I know what they are. From yeah, Louisiana, they have saying, to be alive. I'm just saying, shellfish. Yeah, but when you <laughs> see the devastation, okay, that's cool. You know, like they, they they're all alive in a bag, <laughs> cut open the bag. They put it, then they dump all these living creatures in a strainer. Look, I know, I, but I'm witnessing it. Okay, that's Man, why. What do you mean? I, look, I, I, I know. I, that, look, I, look, I know what you're. What do you mean? I know. No. You're, I know. Oh no, no, you're on my team. I, I <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah, you. Rob, look, remember, you're on his. Oh but boy. I just I hear Spencer and Dan. It's it, 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 but anyway, look. they're all trying to. They're all like freaking out. They're trying to get out, climb out of this thing. Why do you think they're trying to get out? They don't want to be hierarchy. on top of each other. I mean, why? Jesus. Why do you think they're trying to get I out? I don't know, Rob. I, I don't know. Rob, do you think it's it because, they because there's... Is it because they can't wait for Cajun season and spice them? Yeah. Are they, so, are they, <laughs> is it because they, they, they're there's, happy? There's like a hundred of them in there all moving yeah. around, but it's like bodies stacked up. Spices. And then they get put in a pot of boiling water. Oh, yeah. And then so the, they get covered. Yeah, and then alone. 10 minutes... Ten they're minutes not alone. In corn. There's all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, there's corn in there. Alone. So they have onion. corn Oh, there's to corn. Lemon slices. <laughs> oh, if it's corn, Wait, they didn't feel then, anything. Calm down, Ron, later, there's If there's corn. corn and butter, they didn't feel anything. <laughs> they didn't feel anything. <laughs> 10 minutes later, they take the... The, the strainer out, oh, and yeah. then they just dump like a hundred corpses oh. on this table, <laughs> yep. and there's all these yeah. all these people. Slow it's down. Like Cormac McCarthy they just Jr. Pull, <laughs> they, Slow down and hold the head. They pull them in half, oh. and then they eat what looks like the uh, inside. The, Snot. The, the diet, the, the baby like shrimp, the shit track. It's like brown. Right. It looks yeah. like it looks like Good. This, is, this is how Vonnegut would describe a, a picnic at Roy Rogers. Feet. Yeah, and then the, <laughs> and then and, and then at the end, you look at the devastation. It's like it's like. The Less than an inch of meat in that thing, and I, I can't imagine it didn't smell good. And then it's just like <laughs> hundreds of corpses on this table. 
<laughs> you doing I mean, this at the at the at the crab boil, are you there saying this? Yeah, because I'm like, God, that's soil a, and green. It's a lot of it's a lot of death. Everybody's yeah, I mean, like capitalism's going, inherently violent. Stop it! Stop it! Yeah. We're just trying complicit. to have a good time, and it tastes good. No, they were like, <laughs> we get it. <laughs> this tastes good. Stop being such a bummer, Steve. Yeah. I think it tastes good. I was just like, it just. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it just man. Hurt, I'm you know. so unlikable. I'm doing nothing for yeah, my. It's an important, yeah, it's an this important. It's not. Uh, it's so, good. You're just being yourself. I, I, that's, that's, it definitely I, I, I tried not to say anything. No, no, no. no it is, it's a ridiculous thing that we still do that. Because no. that's not a lot of meat. It, it things it, with a lot of meat, maybe. It's not a I, shrimp. A shrimp, the whole thing is a, is the meat. Right, but, but even a shrimp is kind of a small. It's my birthday weekend. <laughs> it's Shit. George's birthday. Yeah, let him eat yeah. crabs. Oh for no, God's no, yeah, sake. sorry, sorry. Yeah. And it's I, in his blood. No, it was it was a fun party. It was a fun party. And then, I don't know why I'm looking at you when I said that. There because you know we know. Uh, ham food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh? Waffle House. Waffle House. Waffle House. Waffle House. Waffle House. Uh, yeah, well, on top of on top of you guys being uh, black gentlemen, like, we're listening Literally. to the one Jewish guy is like telling us that shellfish are gross. Like, right. We knew you felt well, that way. I mean, if you, you think you go to hell when you eat one? I, it wasn't shellfish. It was like I it, like I had seen pictures of Jews piled up like that before. Whoa! Oh God, Jesus in heaven! Well, I, just, I have <laughs> too. Yeah, it's fucked me up, man. I think the Nazis were going. But it tastes good. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. It's worth oh. it. Damn. It tastes good. That's Damn. a good point, Rob. The Nazis were more moral than people who eat shellfish. <laughs> wow, bro. <laughs> more moral? The so, Holocaust was basically a clam bake, is what you're saying. I'm, well, I'm sure the Nazis had to, to think that the Jews were animals in order to... Do horrible things to them, well, that's right? True. Okay, or yeah. did they thought they were humans and equals? No, right. they had to turn them mentally. They had to process that they were less than them in order to do horrible things to them. Well, right? I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna tell you that right, you shouldn't. Lady? You shouldn't be You're right. uh, vegetarian and, and, and invested. Peace. I will. Stop it. <laughs> Knock it off. But Eat a bacon. Weekend. Thank you. So, what else happened in this birthday weekend for you? Anything else? You, uh, so you you did I mean, that's a that's a bad enough. That's a that's a pretty big that's event. A, that's fair enough. That's yeah. a, that's a good that's a good move for a. Um, and do you celebrate? Do you go all out? The Would Friday you, party was great. Yeah, uh, a little joy, just a dance party with yes. Ricky Carmona and DJ Moist. Ricky, uh, <laughs> DJ, yeah. DJ Moist, uh, playing the best uh, hip hop, New Jack Swing. And did you guys have the back room? Yeah, we had the whole oh, back room. The best part was swing. the main Friday night's a big dance night in that bar, the Little Joy. Okay. And uh, the main DJ was was there doing whatever he wanted. Yeah, you know, he's playing like world music, like Brazil, Brazil beat. Um, mm -hmm. Of um, course. And uh, <laughs> everybody that was coming in was going, "What's going on in there?" And we're just coming into the room, the little room for the party. So we were stacked up. Like awesome. People were on the. Uh, and I missed at some it. point, the DJ, oh, the main DJ, is just in our party, just standing around with his arms crossed, going, "What? Why is this?" And when I went out to awesome. talk to him, there was nobody in the front room. Everybody was just in our Awesome. So it was good. Yeah. You want to hear you want to hear what I hear in my head when I hear new Jack Swing as a genre, like what it sounds like? Oh, I'm sure yeah. it has. I got my baby on a fire escape. I'm going to make love to her tonight. I got a two panties in a bucket of dreams for me. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I didn't really add enough new jack to that, but also it wasn't well, swing. <laughs> so it was a little swing. Yeah, kinda yeah, swing yeah. and a miss across the board. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Well, happy birthday. Thanks, I'm trying to think of like wordplay to do with your name and uh, birthday, or like oh, like are you going to yeah, turn to more? I'm sorry, I bummed you out on your on your birthday. Out, I you mean, I, have that power? I, I don't know. I don't know how uh, when how did how to. I mean, it's so easy for people to protest something like guns or, or, or like political stuff, but it, I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I, and I, I, I'm making it. I thought you made a, a salient point. No, yeah, no, no, I think it's fine. But, but, yeah. but there's, it, it, it just makes the people dig in more with what they want to do instead of. Well, maybe if they're maybe anything. if they're I'm thirty, sorry. or maybe if they're they they don't. I mean, I think we're all I don't know. I don't know. reasonably I... mature, if not uh, 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 aging, decrepit, uh, world weary men uh, that that are perfectly willing to have. Somebody... You know what it is? It's guilt for living a certain way, 
and then and waking up and going, oh my god, what have I been doing? If we and didn't I'm have yelling friends at myself that, more than uh, that that went there, we wouldn't. I mean, part of the part of the very profound crime of a uh, carnivorous uh, lifestyle is that it's truly mainstream to the point where no one ever has to talk about it. So much as like gay rights or anything it's, it's like 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 there's the, the oppression is sounds like silence you know like like no one talking about it at all so what are you supposed to do except say stuff and yeah it's a it's a it's a it's a not it's an unenviable position to be the person that brings it up because the incentive would be to not do that because oh i want people to like me which is like saying it tastes good you know and we, we try to strike a balance i think i think i like that i have a friend who represents that view and i i perceive myself as hovering around that you know kevin smith told me he he went vegetarian because he or vegan because he just had his heart attack and you know it, it and everybody's like all mad at him you know like 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 that's like some kind of it's lifestyle uh, uh, something like that it's just like I, what i can't eat meat for no, I used years to do that too. and then have a heart attack and then stop I used, eating i used it. to do that too i used to love korean barbecue and i remember i our our, our good friend kelsey abbott is is vegetarian i said hey we're gonna go do korean barbecue it's it's great you know come along because you're fun and it's always fun and i'd like you to and, and she, she said it, koreans it, are human beings it, you know she, they no, no, it's not really but but she was like uh, I don't really, you know, she was trying to be cool about it, and I went, oh, God, and I made her feel bad about it, and I've now, I, I've, yeah, because you felt bad, because, and that's, yeah. that's why it's important to, to, to speak out, I know that's a corny phrase, speak out, but it, it's, it, the reason, the reason why it's good and healthy for you to say stuff is the same reason why people might, like, smack you down when i was a smoker same thing smoker culture somebody says you should quit smoking you know we make fun of the non-smokers telling it trying to help us yep because we i don't know we were drawn to these cigarettes as a part of a religion that we're like yeah go fuck yourself my drinking i don't like i don't like uh i don't like people being sanctimonious and telling me but you know it, if i was truly confident and blah 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 like i should i should let it just be part of my world if i know that i love drinking and i and and i know why or whatever and i don't have a single inkling of like oh maybe i should quit drinking then it wouldn't upset me when a 16 year old twit um the, whose life is untested and who has never tasted real pain um uh, uh you know every time i self-effacingly comment on my trademark uh boozing you know humorlessly suggests that i sh that i'm an unhappy person or blah 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 i'm like no you're a transparently joyless little fucking mongrel like like you, you're you're a broke petty judgmental little shit face and you're talking to a middle-aged millionaire i i i am i allowed to self-abuse uh i'm i'm 30 years ahead of you uh uh i'll figure it out i'm probably gonna like learn more shit before you because i'm old i'm dying uh, uh this is you, what he says to his foster kid tend your own garden you fucking know-it-all hologram pokemon fucking hoverboard nose pierced asshole that that probably just can't hold their liquor like go go just go do some ketamine and d d eat my balls all right so i'm, I'm sorry anyways but uh yeah i mean I, I was like like maybe i should stop eating meat and i think about that all the time but i don't want, yeah also, yeah part of, part of being an advocate is uh taking shit for being an advocate so uh you're doing great that's a, that's yeah, the best part I, I, some people I, need I, to be anti demorge's happiness on his birthday <laughs> I, it's it's important i mean he's part of a system of oppression he's like oh on my birthday <laughs> yes, i want to be I'd happy be, be a <laughs> You gonna let this motherfucker this come up here and talk about eating all these shellfish? And what are you gonna do? You gonna take a stand? And you took a stand. Feel good about that? I'm against happiness. Someone needs to say it. You're against happiness. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> down with joy. Uh, no. We are, uh, we are closing in on this episode. We got about ten minutes. <laughs> okay. um, nice. Just want to see how you want to spend it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No segue. I keep so saying like we should we should shorten the episodes by like five minutes no. a week until they're like ninety minutes and then like because who why does anyone why would anyone want to listen to this for two hours? We have a couple of announcements. A lot right? Oh, okay. We're gonna be in Boston, as Rob pointed out. Yeah. Should we take Rob to Boston? That's a do that's yourself a question a favor. for the internet. That's a year. That's a that's a. That's a, that's a well, he he probably could go to Boston. It would be Boston and then Long Island the next day. I mean, most yeah. adults are free to travel around the country. Right. Yeah, that's. Do you have your guests lined up already for 
Boston and we, we, are know, they secrets? We usually don't do guests on the road. Not okay. usually, right? Well, sometimes. Zach Galifianakis might drop by. Uh, what? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I so think. yeah, you can find tickets for that. Well, I don't know why that was funny. It's funny to online. trick people. Yeah. In Boston. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Wilbur <laughs> Theater. The Wilbur. I hear we're almost sold out. Almost. Oh. Get them quick. Over a thousand seats. Well, Whoa. that's real good there news. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> also, Long Island. Uh, another big announcement. Uh, uh, we're very close to closing a deal um, where we will have an audience again what? June 4th. Also, if. I mean, don't don't know if you care about what? announcing this, but we're switching nights. Oh, we'll probably switch nights to Saturdays. We're switching nights to Monday. To Monday, Monday nights, night. When the action is hot, you go to work. After Sunday, you're miserable. And Monday night, it's Tuesday Eve. Ready to action. Ready to party. Monday night. The M is for marvelous. Oh. <laughs> Um, what does the N stand for? Nice. Nut, nut sauce. Blue Apron Nut Sauce. What a, what a, We used to be on Mondays, right? Or was it Tuesdays? It was Mondays Mondays. back in the day. And then we went to Sunday. And now we're, it's like Somebody a told me, I mean, we could always, we would always have the option of like, like well, maybe not at this new place, but like, uh, obviously here, uh, we could be here anytime we wanted. We could be here at 3 a.m. on Friday. Uh, well, we pre-record it, these. <laughs> it, what? It, but but somebody told yeah. me that Saturdays and Fridays are like bad nights for comedy in terms of live audiences. Um, Saturdays are great. Fridays are rough. Okay. Why? Because of because people are tired. So you the the myth is Friday second show is the worst show you'll do all night, all week. Because because pe- who's tired? It's Friday uh, night. Cause, cause oh, because they're tired at work. Yeah. Well, that's so that's, that's why the Groundlings the Groundlings second show is always either either cooking with gas or the new shows that the, the new sketches are trying out and then they yeah, yeah. Okay. and even at uh, in, every comedy show in the city is going to be like fucking Friday second show is the worst they're really drunk by then usually too so you, if you jump in your car and you come straight to the comedy show great but if you are at home pre partying and then you show up at the comedy show you're like fuck this place mm. both shows Saturday are wonderful because people put it in their plans they know they're doing it yeah and they sleep in. And then they then your Saturday is okay. I get it. Yeah. But anyways, Monday nights. <gasps> Come on, hottest night of the week. You've had two days to get rested. Are you still <laughs> fucked up? <laughs> Come you see had us your Monday nights. Breakfast. You had your <laughs> lunch. You had your dinner. You've had all day to like re-engage your career. You can also tell like I don't want to do shit this week by Monday. So go out Monday night and prove it. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, we're gonna be we we will have audiences back and all this stuff. Like, like again, how do they get tickets? Look, I don't. I, I I'm sorry. Anybody ever it, it uh, mistook me for thinking that it was a better idea to not have an audience? That was never. I didn't. I never thought that that made the show better. Who, I I who, think what I may have who ex- told who said yeah, who's I don't know. A, like I, Jeff? Like I I, I told a bunch that. of people that. Uh, I mean, okay. <laughs> like it's like I, I I don't know if you've been languishing in silence, going like, oh, Dan thinks this is a great idea to not be in front of an audience. Not not really. No, I don't really. I think, think it's a good that. experiment because I you... found it beneficial to me. I enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. I found the good in it. And now you, it's run its course and you're ready to go back. Exactly. I bet you're going to be a better person. I'm going to be like a fucking LeBron. Oh, That'd be great. You could be like a LeBron. The you're famous, famous like athlete Wendell. LeBron Ooh, Johnson. La, la. No. Check out this Braun. Taking his tennis to Koreatown. Ah. La, 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 la. Bo 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 bo! Oh no no! Oh ho ho! We, look at Le LeBron! Are we allowed to say where we're yeah. gonna be doing? That? Where are we gonna be? I I, I just said it. I, might, as as well, like a might as well wait until I get the green light. Okay. okay. But, what else is there? You aren't gonna believe it, kids. <laughs> it, yeah. The the Jeffrey Dahmer uh, <laughs> Amusementorium. Uh, uh, here's we, here's something. Here's something. The green light. The original green light. Blue. <laughs> what? what? No, come on. Holy shit. <laughs> what? No, when they brought them spoons down. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a reference to 
to a YouTube sketch. Just for you. <laughs> Wait, oh, I was going to ask you, by the way, speaking of that, when you said Ashton Kuchner, were you doing a reference to that guy from the reality show where, the, 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 you know, it's, it's, isn't it just Kuchner? Yeah. But the, you, you, the, I like that, Kuchner. The, the guy in I Love, I Love New York, remember when New York did her spinoff of the Flavor Flav show? There was a guy, it was like kind of a meme that this guy was like, David it, Fix, the, the, uh, the, the, the gay, uh, Asian, like, butler guy, or not, not Asian, I think he was Hispanic. It doesn't matter. Race doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> it matters. He was he was not white. That's all that matters. That's all that ever matters. Uh, That's race matters. And he co- he come he comes out and he he's just very flamboyant. And then they cut to one of the contestants on the show and going like, "Man, when he came out, I was like, all right, what am I being punked? Where's Ashton Kuchner? <laughs> Anyways, I thought you were doing like a reference to that Kuchner. It's the funniest unnecessary like end a, in the uh, history of celebrity names. Sounds like a a, a, a term for the vajaz. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put it in your coochner. I'm going to give it to you all night to the break of dawn. I will love you slowly and consistently. I want to sweat. To the break of dawn sexually with you and making love to the dawn time in a mattress. Our bodies are going to entangle. My penis will be inside. You'll like it. You'll say good. Thank you. I'll say you're welcome to the break of dawn in your booty and your body and your vagina in your coochner. With your knees and your feet, I'm turned on by every part of you. I'll fuck your ear. I'll use your hair to jerk off. I'll sit on top of you and eat pizza. I will watch you clip your toenails to the break of dawn in your booty and your life and your soul. I'm going to take you downtown to my sex place. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you have your own sex place. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a metaphorical sex oh, place. Okay. I mean, a state of mind where I get down. The break of dawn is a real reference to a time. It's the earliest morning that still counts as day. I just don't like fucking you uh, unless it's nighttime. So the break of dawn is uh, unfortunately when I have to stop. It's not because I don't want to keep doing it. It's because I'm a sexual vampire. I. I don't like doing it after the break of dawn. Daytime and sex don't mix, so I'll fuck you to the break of dawn. That's it. And then we'll make plans to get together at sunset and <laughs> keep keep doing it with your body in the break of dawn to the break of dawn, etc. That's been that's uh that that's uh yeah that was ten minutes yeah. right? right ten minutes okay. great ten minutes how about a beat yeah. Because we just we, okay. Now you was talking about. So just redo it. You were talking about the sex to the place. break of dawn all break night long. Dawn. I'm gonna have sex with you with my dong. With you with my dong. Put it in your. <laughs> I'm gonna insert myself inside of you for the purpose of reproduction, but it's gonna be pleasurable. I hope we don't make a baby too soon. It's fun. <laughs> soon. If we do, it's okay though, cause I love you till the break of dawn. Till the break of dawn. We're gonna fuck you all night long. Fuck my you. penis, your vagina. These things in North Carolina. Our sex could not be finer. I'm gonna eat you out like China. Eight More energy! Japanese. Stand up! Yo! I'm fucked till the break of dawn. I'm doing it on the front lawn. I've often yeah. rhymed these words in the song with my name is MC John. I'm doing it at the sunrise. I'm fucking your feet and your mouth and your thighs. I'm going to put mayonnaise on your face and then I'm going to go into outer space and put my penis in a car. Drive around the sun. It's a star made of hydrogen. Burn so brightly. I fucked your mom like I was Kira Knightley. I, I did the scissor thing on a pirate ship. On a pirate ship. 
I was born on a pirate ship. If you hold your tongue, it sounds like pile of shit. You can trick people into saying it on the playground in 1976. I pee pee in your coke. I fuck your mama like the spoke of a wheel with a baseball card. I fucked your mama not too hard. I did it soft, real gentle. I fucked your mom like my, I was mental. I went, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It wasn't offensive, my sister's retarded. I fucked your mom so hard, I farted. I floated up in the air. Fucked your mama, then I sat in a chair. Watched her sleep for an hour. Got back on top of her Eiffel Tower is what I call the position that I did. It's just me hit, hidden on the foot of the bed, being French and watching all that I see. I see beautiful women that deserve to be equal. I love the way they vote. I'd like to give them maternity leave. But then I'd like to make love to them to the break of dawn. To the break of dawn. Women should be equal, but let's also make love. Home. I have no home. <laughs> the jungle is my home. <laughs> What? It's like, it's, like, it's like a famous professor doing a lecture. Is that, that's like the sound Hunted, <laughs> despised, <laughs> treated like an animal. Oh, treated like an animal. All night long to the break of dawn. Treated like an animal. On the front lawn. Do it in your booty. Hunted. Like Rudy Tootie. Despised. Ray Moody. Roy Moody. Who's, who's a politician named Moody? What was his name? Fucked your mama, felt no shame. I'm proud of my fucking. I liked her ducking. I do pussy plucking, but you can also be hairy. I wanna make love to you to the break of dawn. Take it to Morge. What we have seen here is an example of styling and profiling. On the right, you have Dan Harmon, an intellectual and a wordsmith. On the left, Robert Schraub, a professor of some repute. Published, yes. Honored, yes. Lurid, also. What we're trying to do is bring to you a representation of what the break of dawn means. <laughs> How do you take a dawn and break it? Do you grasp it in both hands and rip it apart? Do you caress it until it opens gently for you? Do you punch it in the fucking face until it cracks, fractures? And after having done such a thing, where do you pour the ingredients? Do you pour them all over your body or all over the floor? The dawn is, a, is an interesting time. It happens in the morning. It happens every day. Wait for yourself. If you fuck it up tomorrow, you'll always have Wednesday. <laughs> all right. That's, uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Harmontown. Uh, do you have a, a list way. of people that you thank? I do have a list of people that I thank. I, I start with Sarah Hill. Uh, I, sure. I work my way over to Chris Boroff. Yeah. I, I, I work my way over to Nolan Fabricas. I yep. hope I said that correctly. I, I, I work my way over to a, a church. Church. I, I, I work my way over to Spencer Crittenden. Yeah. And, Zach. and then I give you the rest. <laughs> Zach McKeever, the and audio Zach. beaver. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's why I let you do that one. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You songs are always, always uh, out there making sure we, we do our ads wrong and, uh, and, 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 and hoping we don't get fired. Uh, uh, who else is here? Let's not forget to Morge Brown's birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. Steve Levy's birthday hour. Yay! We'll see you next week with, a, with an even worse show. And um, Rob Schropp. And me. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Brandon, and me. the guest comptroller. Thank you, Brandon. We do, do what we can. Yeah. yeah. Come back next time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Protect your Waffle Houses. Yeah, yeah. Waffle House. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Get on my lawn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's wandering in the back door. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
啊，王正奇，马上要，马上要赢。Supernatural, yes. Baloney, perhaps not. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.